I'm trying to remember what you did last time. We assaulted the uh, Grey Cloaks, um, or like the former Blue Coat, uh, the police station, the, thing, the yeah. police station that the Grey Cloaks had taken over, um, in order to I both like take the claim and also find the files on Lord Rowan so that we could potentially use that dirt on Lord Rowan to get him to become our patron. Okay. Um, so we've got those files, but they're exceedingly complex. And so we're probably going to need to get some help to interpret them. Oh, and, and part of the motivation here, um, and, and I, I've been looking into, um, well, I've been off, by the way, patron just gets better and better the higher tier you are, because I didn't realize that the, the, the cost to tier up is a multiplier. Yep. Yeah. It's eight times the tier you're going to, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's huge. Which, which means that it's okay for low tier ups like you guys did, but it's pretty necessary if you ever want to make it to tier four. Yeah, either that or you have to start raiding stash and vaults and stuff. Yeah, start, start going after the fucking Lord Governor of the city and stuff. Yeah. Well, it's not, it's not yeah. just that. It's like, where are you going to store all that cash? Yeah, yeah. So you have to, you have to, you have to, you have to like plan it out meticulously and be like, all right, we're gonna tear up this week, so we need to do a score that gets us thirty coin. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like this week we're gonna steal the treasure badge. Yeah, or or you need to find like things that are worth a lot more coin versus their size, like extremely valuable art objects and like. And shit or, that you can or, or, more efficiently store the coin. Yeah. This week, the crew's going to drop down from four lifestyle to zero lifestyle. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> empty out the savings account. Yeah. 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 So, so I mean, personally, patron sounds like getting a patron sounds like a long, good long term crew goal. In fact, if you guys want to set that up as a more long term goal, I'm even willing to say there's. That when you finally achieve it, there's an XP pack as a reward rather mm -hmm. than a short-term one. We can do that if that's what you guys are keen on. Uh, we can treat, treat it like a simpler thing and do it like a mini series where you get this, and getting a patron requires one or two more scores. It's up to you. Um, I like the one or two more scores idea in part because at least like what we were talking about with going after Lord Rowan was not simply not just the patron in order to like ha ha fictionally justify the ability and, and make tearing up cheaper, but also somebody to provide us with a consistent, uh, like a steady stream of work, right? Like we wanted somebody to be able to pay us essentially as well, uh, consistently. Um, yeah. So I, I like going after that sooner rather than later. Okay. Um, out on a side note, um, something that I've discovered that I've been watching, which I've actually found is really good for figuring out how to do interesting social scores. I've started watching The Bulgers on Netflix. Okay. Really interesting thing to watch to figure out how to do interesting social scores which aren't just go to the governor's ball or stuff like that mm -hmm. and aren't completely bloodless either but definitely the focus is on the social aspect and the intrigue aspect intrigue's probably a better word than than an assault is for example cool yeah i hadn't heard of that but that's definitely something to look at oh your yeah, camera's exactly. working now chris yeah, but it's off on mine. Is there just a giant black bar on the side? Nope. Really? No. God, yeah. that's it's fucking weird. in tablet view anyway for me, so I, I won't be able to see you. For me, it's like I'm in fucking letterboxing and only half of it's there. Like, <laughs> like where I'm holding up my hand is the right edge of the screen. <laughs> weird. 
Yeah. My, brother, my brother's actually had that happen in Roll20 before, and I don't know what the thing, what the cause is. The cause is Roll20 is a piece of shit. Quality. <laughs> let's, let's, let's be honest. Quality program. Yeah. God, you're just a terrible piece of shit. Roll20. I hate you. Well, for what it matters, it looks fine to us. I'm going to suppose we're the important ones. Uh... Shall we start on our downtime stuff then? Cool. Yeah, I'm done. Cool. Um. So, 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 not to distract, just to talk about my laptop, just one final time. Mm -hmm. I've seen a thing, and it's like there's a turning it on to stop things doing it, and I go, okay, well, turn, let's turn it off because I got a virus protection, and it tells me, oh, it's making a change, and then it goes back to the scene, and then I see it turn it back on again, and it's like. Windows, you are the worst malware ever. <laughs> kind of, yeah. Oh my god. I'm so close to switching to Linux over this. Anyway. Um. So I am going to uh, relieve stress. Uh, I'm going to indulge my vice at the uh theater i don't really have any like fun ideas i think it's the same thing that she always says she goes and sits behind the the backstage and watches the the show do you um, take any of your thespian cohorts to try and win them over i think yeah i had been thinking about that and <laughs> I, yeah i think she probably does did we have a, a so a so, so here's my question about that the uh they're, they're rovers, they're like dockmen by trade. They're not <laughs> cultured people. Yeah. <laughs> they like cultured things. Yeah, it's exactly. Like C.S. Lugo said bad taste is a taste in things that are uh, critically concerned are bad. These guys have tastes in artistic things, although they are not cultured people. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, how is that going to go? I, you know what, I think, like, I haven't really, this hasn't really come up a ton, but that's sort of Emmeline's background as well. Like, she's not, she's not working class, but her parents, like, run a merchant business, so she spent a lot of time around people, around, like, the docks and, like, stevedores and stuff, um, and people who work for a living, and so she's kind of, like, she has a finer taste than than her upbringing would also suggest um so there's there's a little bit of like she's like oh yeah i know the good stuff i'm gonna show you guys the time but also she can kind of relate to the fact that they're um overreaching their station a bit well is it that they so so and, and i say is it knowing full well until you guys select them as a cohort i have full control of these people it's mm -hmm. not that they're overseas reaching the station i mean opera and the theater the rich like it because it's good mm -hmm. these guys like it because it's good the fact that it's been deemed the realm of the rich doesn't change the fact they enjoy it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. more than someone who is a pauper can enjoy fine wine but that doesn't change who they are. So yeah. So they're, they're like someone who goes. In fact, most of the rich are there to be seen, and because it's the done thing, these guys. So these guys, I, if you talk them there, they would be like hooting and howling and having a great time. Yeah. So I don't think she brings all of them. I think she brings okay. one. Um, the but, I think. But have you seen? Um, what it's Julia Roberts, but she's a prostitute. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Yeah, she I haven't actually seen it. Opera, and she starts going, oh, oh, oh. Well, at first, you couldn't see the actions. It starts like, you know. Yeah. It, it's um, kind of like that, where they're, they're kind of unashamedly, unabashedly into it, to the point where you might be getting dirty looks, even if you take one. Yeah. But they're having a great time, and they don't care. 
Yeah, so I think she does, like, so she, so she brings the one, I think we had given a couple of them yeah. names last time. I think I said one of them was named Twelves. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not sure. It's My tablet's being a pain in the ass, so I might need to set up my laptop. Work laptop. Let me, uh, let me have a, yeah, I'm not... I remember you yeah. named them, but we didn't write yeah. it down or anything. You, yeah, 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 we you, didn't. You gave them names. I think I had said Twelves was, was one of them, and uh, I don't know if he's, like, the, their whatever their leader or whatever but he's the one that that emmeline's kind of glommed on to the best and so he's she, the, he's their figurehead yeah <laughs> she brings him and like yeah i get some side eye when she brings him in through the back the back room from master hellerin um but but she kind of vouches for him um and when he like starts hooting and hollering she like puts her hand on his shoulder and is like that's not like that's not how uh, how we behave here, but also like you were saying, they have a legitimate love for it, and that's what she connects to because she she likes the the pomp and circumstance of the theater, but also she has like a genuine appreciation for the art and craft of it. Um, so she likes that they're into it and that they enjoy it in this really like sincere, um, genuine sort of way. Mm. Uh, cool. So I'm gonna roll to indulge my vice. Uh, oh. Okay. Um. Before you do that, because mm -hmm. I'm interested, and this is gonna be if you actually let's roll your vice, and then we'll then okay. we'll. So that's four. So you're taking it. You didn't overindulge. No, so I didn't. I, I had anything yet. I had like seven. There I'm was no way I could over. Laptop. Which thankfully runs Debian Linux, so there's no way Windows can bugger that up. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I had seven stress, so there was no way I could overindulge, so right. I'm good. Okay, okay. Um, what's your heat? Uh, our heat is four, and our wanted level is two. Yeah. You care. No. <laughs> Cat, no! Cat <laughs> jumped on my mouse pad, which is this giant thing. I mean, and that's. You like, can't blame a cat for jumping on a mouse. Like, that's just. Yes, yeah, so but my cell phone <laughs> and everything else was on there. It was a mouse pad, and it all came sliding horribly down. I'm just gonna check. Um, if anyone's got the rules open, can you tell me what um, a, uh, a complication of five is? On the on the heat for our entanglement. The heat for uh, In it's uh, reprisals or unquiet dead. Um, so reprisals is an enemy faction makes a move against you or a friend contact or vice purveyor. Pay them one uh, rep and one coin per tier of the enemy as an apology. Allow them to mess with you and yours or fight back and show them who's boss. Uh, and then unquiet dead is that uh, ghosts come after you. <laughs> a rogue spirit is drawn to you. <laughs> I can yet to find a fun way to do on quiet dead, to be honest. Oh, I can think of a million fun ways. Usually, <laughs> it, usually it helps like if it happens after some kind of murder of an established NPC or something like that. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, it has to be firmly established. Like we, you go and do a score and kill some people. That ghost comes back. If that ghost hasn't been established, I don't really care. Yeah, no, that that's a good point, and I think that's probably why it's a it's a choice here. Reprisals feels like it makes a ton of sense in this situation. Yes. We have we have some enemies. <laughs> enemies for days. I have a so, so, pistol actually. I've forgotten. Um, one or two. You you definitely yeah, just pistol, four. Uh, you definitely have pissed off the signs of the fallen, right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Negative yeah. one. Because they're exactly the kind of group you would expect to see it. Yeah. Better. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. That's perfect. So so who, who's with you? Is it just 12s or is it 12s and someone else? I think it's just 12s. So so afterwards, like after that, there's like wine and hors d'oeuvres and it's part of the price of mission. And, and like 12, is 12s male or female? Uh, He's a dude, yeah. Okay. 
so 12 standing there and and um like <clears throat> I, I i'm 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 gonna say i'm gonna do a fortune roll actually yeah it's law it's it's lord rowan's third cousin on his wife's side okay <laughs> so basically it's a pop um but but it's kind of patronizing down to 12 in and, and like you know look 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 at the monkey type thing um but he he, he he's asking what 12 thought and then 12 turns around and he's like well you know actually the amusing thing is this is actually a parallel to what happened in um what is it called what's the main city called damn it um and sorry what, uh, what was the Arubia, question um oh. I was, I, Arubia, where there was a political uprising at the time and and th this was his way of you know uh, indicating that but also getting favor in the akarosi government to get more artwork commissioned and they're like what as if you know a dog just started to speak to them <laughs> and at that moment is when these uh four very imposing young gentlemen are like <laughs> oh i thought this was a invitation only event and, and you can see like four guys with a sign of the fallen brooches on them <laughs> and and, and 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 they're kind of looking at you icily. Yeah. So, this this is great. I love this. Also, it, oh, I, so it's basically like goodwill hunting. Uh, <laughs> it's exactly it's, like goodwill hunting. Yeah. Except so, no art, not really. we're gonna have a how do you like them apples moment. Um, <laughs> Except you don't really want to piss off Lord Rowan, right? That's why I made it as pet. Yeah, no, that that's true. But a one, like, first of all, Emmeline uh, wasn't there for the score against the Silence of the Fallen, so she doesn't even realize that these guys might necessarily have a like legitimate grudge against the Chimera if they realize like that she's part of it. And also, she probably doesn't know that this dude is related to Lord Rowan, so that's not. At the time, oh no, the that was he, he when he introduced himself, he name dropped. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So he's saying, um, he's like, I am so and so, the third cousin of like, like, <laughs> uh, he, he, you know, he, he, he's one of those. Yeah, I, I got gotcha, you. I one gotcha. of them. Um, yeah, like, I, I mean, that's you... part of the point of them talking to 12. It's all about himself looking... making himself feel superior to other people. Even yeah. though he's not. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I, I, Emmeline doesn't really give a shit about that. Um, <laughs> so what she's going to do is, like, she's got a drink in her hand. And, like, she's going to uh, come up and, like, sort of, like, engage in the point that Twelves was making. Like, oh, yeah, I think that's, like, a really interesting insight. Um and did you think about like how that ref uh, could also be applied to the current political situation uh, in in Duskfall? And and uh, I hear the workers are rebelling. There, I wonder if if they they put on this show in order to create some sort of uh, political message. And while she's doing that, she's got a drink in her hand, um, and she is going to. Um, accidentally on purpose uh just like spill it all over this dude's shirt um, the cousin the cousin the lord rowan's cousin but she wants but i want to do it in a way that to like to him he's gonna get the like i want him to get the fuck you uh but i want it to the rest of the crowd to look like i want plausible deniability like this looks like it was actually an accident so what are you trying to achieve here um i want to embarrass him yeah uh, keep in mind the complication is um these guys and mechanically speaking 
bears, you know, the coin, the rep, the whatever impact. Yeah, yeah. So so I'm picking the fight back and show them who's boss option. And the way I want to show them who's boss is like so, 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 I so, want to take so, him down a peg. And so and I'm more than happy to go with this that that this is actually what happened. So your interpretation is and this works, the cousin cousin three times removed is actually a member of the science of the fallen. Oh that was that was my yeah, sorry, that was my understanding as well. I, that wasn't the case they walked in, but that's even more perfect because then, then that would be <laughs> why he's saying I'm the third cousin and trying to make himself superior because he's dirt poor. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> like, 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 um, you know, with your guys' um, crew, he's probably no more. He's probably got no more at home as far as money than twelve does. So, yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. So I'm, yeah, I'm, and I'm gonna ruin his best theater clothes that he just like, yeah, uh, he can't easily replace. Um, do you want me to roll for that or? Um, yeah, I think I think that that um, that is definitely a roll. Um, yeah, you would tell me what type, but yes. I, I was thinking finesse in order, like like I was saying, in order to do it in a way that looks accidental, but isn't okay um yeah i would say yeah finesse is a great one and i'd say finesse would be risky and will but with a great effect because finesse is a really good thing and i think the risk here is and is is that you'll do it the risk is that if you do it you won't be it, it it'll be more pointed than you intended won't be easily mistakable as accidental, mm -hmm. but but an obvious antagonistic action. Yeah, yeah, that makes total sense. Um, oh, I should note actually, I have harm right now. I've got a level one harm winded. I don't know if you think that should apply or not. Um, winded, so that should affect, um, I believe, um, in terms of pay, pr prowess rolls. Yeah, so finesse falls under prowess. Yeah. Uh, so, do you think uh, the winded this comes is a standard on standard effect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Pro, if you are winded, then yeah. I mean, yeah. You that if you if you were doing if you were doing a convincing thing to convince them it was thing rather than a Phineas, then it wouldn't because you would say, oh, I, I I'm making out because I'm winded, but because it's a Phineas thing. It has to come into play because it will affect. Yeah, and ability. it's probably like my thing. My hands are a little shaky, right? Like I'm. Did you I'm say it was I'm, one or two. It was level one. Oh, level well, one. Cool. So currently you have great effect, so it would just lower it to standard effect. Yeah, and so can I make it a desperate roll to get back to great effect? Yes, but Sweet. you'd have to tell me how you've made it desperate. So, yeah. so here's here's my view on escalating those. You. Especially in times like this, where I don't freaking know, um, how is it desperate, and how have you made it desperate? Like, I mean, is it taking my risk? You um, make it the escalation. You make it in his face. So, how is it? How is it desperate? Yeah, I think I'm gonna make it. Um, it's gonna be desperate in that I'm gonna get really close to him, um, and then and and slip, uh, like have my glass like right up to to my face and like uh like after making the point to 12s i turn to him and i'm i say yes don't you think that was a wonderful insight and then just like very like slowly and surely like go like whoops and tip my glass like right <laughs> down all in front of him so that the entire drink just spills over him um and that's that's why it's desperate <laughs> So, so what's the desperate consequence here? Because I can't see one. Uh, the desperate consequence is that, like, I'm right up in his face, um, and there's, like, there's the, those other four dudes you mentioned who will, if I fail, ha like, and I think not, not only will it be obvious to everybody that this was a mis that this was on purpose, but it's such a flagrant um, instigation that they'll feel obligated 
by by honor uh, and and to maintain their own reputations to uh, to okay. avenge so themselves I'm, against me. So, so GM wise, I'm interpreting this as two consequences as a result. Okay. Plus plus four heat due to this high society thing and this uncouth behavior, and you'll you'll be at war with the Sires. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to push it to desperate, that will make it that that would be the desperate consequences. Because I'm not going to have him, and the, the these guys are too well mannered to just slit your throat in here. Yeah, like, okay. yeah. and they and they're super ego, so it makes sense that they would jump like so, two faction so, statuses so, instantly. Yeah, be, yeah. Because, Ooh, whoa. So, so it, it would be the equivalent of slapping someone with your bonnet. Essentially, what you're doing is. <laughs> You're getting more heat because you're acting uncoop in high society, and that's getting noticed and people saying, you know, these terrible ruffians. I'm, I'm and, fine with, and the guys are taking it as a declaration of war. I'm, I'm fine with the war. Could I argue you down to two heat instead? Four feels really sure. high. In, four was in, what just I in said that, like, I'm just gonna make it one faction. So yeah, that's yeah. fine. Uh, yeah, because I I said four, and then I suddenly realized, or I could just make it war. So yeah, two, two is yeah. fine. Boy, you're right. Is more like we 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 bombing the city. And, and <laughs> yeah, because four is the baseline for a loud and chaotic score. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I, st I still I still think it's pretty bad, but yeah. Emily yeah. Emily spills her drink on him, and it's full of corrosive acid that melts his <laughs> flesh, like. That's... Yeah, that, that would be a four. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, cool. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to succeed. But as long as you're on the set, you'll be fine, right? Yeah, exactly. For sure. Um, and gonna... what, do you wanna get, what do you want to get out of this? You, you want this thing to go away? Is that, that what... Yeah, I, I, want, I want the, um, the, the entanglement team, to go away, right? basically. I want the entang entanglement to go away. And also, I want 12s to be impressed by my display <laughs> and be more like like I want 12s to respect me and be like oh yeah Emmeline like fucking stood up for me and she didn't take any shit uh, so do we, have, do we have a clock for making a cohort or yeah we have a permanent acting troop cohorts clock it's a 6 clock we don't have any ticks on it yet so I'm yeah, gonna that's say on I'm gonna system. say the extra effect will be 2 on that Okay. Uh, because, sweet. You know, but, you know um, narratively, it's what you describe. He's more impressed, not rest. But mm -hmm. mechanically speaking, the way we we can tell that is, you know, because he's he we, he's the leader of them. He's going to come back and say, "Yeah, we got our back." <laughs> Emily's cool. She 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 gets better, <laughs> and she don't let no punk talk down to us. Exactly. Yeah. Sweet, and, um, and that that's going to have a lot of water because these guys are all about fronting. So, so they, they don't care who, what people think of there, but they 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 don't. He's not stupid enough. He knows he was being disrespected, but that's why he went and did the thing. Yeah. So, yeah. so so this will have a huge impact on them because in front of their quote unquote betters, you were like, no, you're nothing. You don't even know, so that's why I'm saying two. Yeah, that's perfect. I love that. Uh, awesome. sweet. I'm gonna push Time myself. Uh, I'm gonna push myself for an extra die. Uh, taking my XP, I get an extra die because it's desperate, and I am a daredevil. Um, already, uh, great. Two bonus dice. Oh, <sighs> oh, awesome! So you get exactly right. Look, if you hadn't, so so you only got one on finesse. Uh, yeah, I pushed myself for an extra die, and I got an extra die for my daredevil ability because it was a desperate yeah. action. So I get this one D. Yeah, that's why I was asking if you only hit one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've only got one, one. Okay. One. Um. Well, that that's good. If you hadn't done that, you would have failed, which would have sucked for you. So you get everything you want, and you're at war, and you've got two heat. 
Sweet. Did we ever take War Dogs? I'm pretty sure we did, right? Yeah. I mean, I keep on pressuring you two, so, you know. Uh, we, we did, we did take War Dogs, we did. So we're I mean, at, you know, we're at war, obviously. we're at war with the Grey Cloaks and them now, right? Yeah, we should be at war with both of them. Okay. Just I mean, it's sure. worth noting that they're only a tier one thing. Oh yeah, so, we're know, gonna fuck those it, dudes up. Yeah, and, and... Yeah. Although it's also worth noting you have a weak hold, which I never really understood what that means. Uh, it but means we're, we're, we're on uneasy footing. Like, we, we're tier one, but we're... We'd be People pretty. Can take the really... from you easily is what yeah. I. Yeah, you you struggle to like you don't you know you We're have yeah you have a man on every corner but not two or three men on every corner right yeah. like. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right back. Just need to use the bathroom. All right. Okay. Uh, do you want to mark the heat? I you marked, already got I it. Cool. The heat. Yeah, I the heat. Cool, cool, cool. I did the also, factions. Uh. Just, just to speed through this, um, and while while Luke's gone, I'm just gonna indulge my vice again while I'm here. Okay. I'm just gonna be like, let's go okay. watch another show, <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna hope I don't overindulge. Nope, nailed it. Perfect. You're all my scripts. easy peasy. Nice. Easy peasy, man. Um. Sh 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 Let's see. All right. I know I'm going to do that. And back. Cool. Um, just so you know, Luke, I just used my second downtime action to just uh, uh, indulge my vice again while I'm here. Like, after that altercation, uh, I just go and like, I guess like talk to the actors for a little bit. Yeah. Um, and so I I already rolled it. Uh, okay. Um. And you didn't overindulge, obviously. I didn't. No. I I I got right on the edge. I had five stress and I rolled a five. Spot on. Nice. Nice. And I'm just grab so I just do, did a fourteen roll because um this whole thing's gonna be an interesting idea, but I only rolled. So, what was going to happen, which was actually good for you guys, didn't happen. So. Oh, no. <laughs> well, this whole thing's unlocked in my mind. Um, yeah, I, I, it, it, it's a cool idea to come up with. Cool. I'll be back in one second. I'm just getting some water. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just going ahead and going to make my healing rolls here. How much does our in-house healer have again? Was it three dice? Um, the, what even here? The um. Oh, they're gone. That's right. They were tied to the gondoliers. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Eb is... Ebby. Is that it, Abby, the physiker? I think. Yeah. Where are they? Up oh, there they are. Yep, that's three. Yeah. All right. Cover this thing. So, wait, he didn't resist any of that, did he? Nope. I didn't okay. know. So make sure to mark the two and they think you're at war. Yeah, we got it. We marked it, yeah. Alright, that's two on the clock. We'll have to fight that. And I'm going to use my second downtime to take to do that again. More stress release, did you say? 
Hmm? No, more healing. Oh, yes. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's me now. Amelie's got boo boos. Hey! Yay! Sweet. Not bad. That's, what, three? Yeah, six is three ticks. Alright, so it knocks it down to one. Uh, what happens if I up that? It gives a five. No, I. Unless it's going to guarantee you finish the clock, it's usually statistically yeah. better to just roll again. But. I'm not sure about for, um, the 3 to 5 one. I know the 1 to 2 one is. But 3 to 5 is harder because. It depends how many die. Would three die? Yeah, you're better rolling again. Well, because yeah. it's it's fifty fifty odds, right? Like, so that's what I'm saying. Like, if yeah. you only need two ticks, would... then you just pay and get your two ticks. But, but... You need three ticks, so you want the six. So it's a better yeah. idea to just yeah. And, and you've got three die, so you're more likely to get at least two. That four five. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'll pay one. And like, and I'll the worst case scenario is you still don't get it. Like, you only get a one or a two, and then you just spend another coin and roll again, which is what would happen if you bumped it up, anyways. Like, that is true. Because That's of true. the position you're at. Well, come on, six. I have other things I want to do in downtime with this coin. I mean, paying to increase only really. Matters things like crafting, where it's one roll you can't double up for roll and you need it to be a certain quality. Or if you just want to guarantee you're done with something. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> that's, to that's no worse than paying for the increasing the power. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, could spend true. Another, you could spend another coin to bump it up now if you just want And to, then you would be done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me, let me, I mean, I have a list of things here I want to do. Um, or, let's see. You're not like, do a uh, fucking upgrade or anything, are you? No, nope, you're not even close. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm just gonna. I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna worry about it, I'll take care of it later. So, are you, guys, one? That, but... you, you guys leveled up to tier 1, right? Not tier 2. Yeah, tier one. Yeah, just tier one. Okay. Why you ask? Well, no, we'll figure out. We'll figure out why you asked. <laughs> oh, I, I asked because I I haven't played with you guys in two weeks, and in that two weeks, yeah, I yeah. I DM'd for uh, go play. I got a um uh infected throat, and then I got pink eye. So as a result. Oh, shit. And I'm delivering a crucial product that one of the VPs of Amazon has said is the most important thing. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, you say, well, when you hear about it, though, you'll realize just how boring my life is. <laughs> um, but, you know, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pay another coin. I'm basically going to go up to my docker friends toss them that coin and basically try to remind them all but, but i'm basically going to say to them i know that you have been hanging out with emeline but i want to remind you working for me is far more lucrative than hanging out with her at her little parties <laughs> okay Okay, what are you trying to achieve here? I'm, I'm, I'm progressing that clock I started last time. Okay. The other, um, get them as assets. Okay. So, what action are you doing for that clock? That I got sounds more like a command, but. Yeah. yeah. That sounds that like sounds a command like or consort to me. Yeah. Really, command? You would argue command with that? I, it, I mean. It, de it depends on how that that shot is framed, right? Is it like you'll be um, you'll, you'll be much more profitable with me, 
and that's a friendly state like that could be a friendly statement or an aggressive statement i i i I can i based on that statement i can tell you as dm that if it was consort i would make it less that and if it was command i'd make it standard i'm sorry that was a little that was a little thing could you repeat that if it was consort based on what these guys are like i would make it lesser and if it was command i'd make it standard because the fact of the matter is you you you're 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 not really pulling the right levers for these guys um but if what? it's command then it's not what you're saying but the way you're saying it and it's more of a threat which is definitely a standard lever for these guys i mean they're and just to be clear, they're not dockers so much as um, I think we said they were rovers. Mm-hmm. So, so because dockers is a faction, right? Yeah, they're not part of the docker faction. They're, right. They're, 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 they're we just we just keep saying dockers interchangeably for people who work on the docks, like they are the yeah. type of people that do that. So. Yeah, I, I I know. I'm just, yeah. but yeah, be, because your the way you said it kind of would sway someone more affluent or uh, cultured. Oh, yeah. I know that's a strange thing to say about these guys, but as I said before, they're very much like Good World Hunting, where they're very much like... Um, they enjoy it, but, they, but, but they're not subtle about that, and that they like the fact that they're fear-swelling... what it is. And you're yeah, offering to so, elevate them away from their culture, and but if you're threatening them, <clears throat> and they understand that. They understand the nature of threats. threats plus, like plus, last time we kind of established that like the relationships between the two of you and them was different. Like, yeah. Emmeline, they respect. Amelie's, they fear. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's why. In fact, I'm willing to make it greater if it's command. I forgot about that. Well, but for. Yeah. So for working on a, on a long term project, it's a fortune roll, right? The the the, the you effect can, doesn't. You can still have different the, effect. The, I the think. effect is crucial. The position is not. Okay. Yeah. But the effect is really crucial for a fortune roll because it makes a five a six and a six a crit. Yeah, crit you just. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, you okay. just you just usually assume it's standard effect on a fortune roll, but it yeah. can be modified. Okay, I yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. That makes um, I sometimes even add so, position and fortune if your fortune roll is just an insane thing to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, go and spit in the face of Lord Strangford. Yeah, if there's an so obstacle with that, consequences, that's totally yeah, fair. Yeah, that would have consequences. This yeah. doesn't have consequences, yeah. but, but the way you approach them definitely has impact. Or muted impact. Because they don't respect you at all. So if you were to make promises to them, you know, someone who you don't respect making promises to you is often met with contempt. But if you're threatening them, well, they're scared of you already. That's something they can work with. Makes sense. Now, yeah, on the yeah, filling so, up of this clock, so there's just, apparently a tier one. Hmm? Could you run over that whole effect uh, for Fortune Rolls thing again? Because I've never quite understood that with the uh, clocks. The basic so, progress so of... Like, it, it's it's just gonna bump up your effect result. So like if you so assume you have standard effect on a normal roll, you get either one, two, three, or five ticks, right? If you have great effect, you would be going with two, three, five, six, or like extreme. Because on a one, you would get the results of a three to four. You know, it's it's the same thing as if you pay to yep. get extra effect or whatever like that, right? And less okay, there is so the way down. Yeah. So a one to three would be nothing. Mm-hmm. A four to five would be one, and a six would be two. Yeah, it's just um, taking it's, the scale and pushing okay. it over. It's also worth noting okay. that doing this long term project will get them as a permanent um, cohort, but for them to act, but they'll be quality one, uh, to you know tier one to get them to actually level up with you. If you ever go to two, that you need to throw up red still. Yeah, that that's fair. That, mm-hmm. that makes total sense. So, so, so they they're locked in place, basically, is what I'm saying. I I do think they should still get um Blood Brothers and Elite if you have it. I can't remember if you have it. We have Blood yeah. Brothers. Yeah. yeah, I think they should still get Blood Brothers, but um and Elite folks. And we do, yeah, we have we have both of those, yeah. Yeah, but uh, but they're locked as tier one 
they, they right. would never come tier two or three or whatever um, unless you pick them as your upgrade to it. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I'll go with command okay. and just to make make that a little clearer. It'll just sort of like order and sort of maybe half pull out a sword. Try your dot and see if you fare as well as our fearless leader did. The one who beat you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm essentially saying, yeah, you saw him beat the shit out of me, but do you think you can? <laughs> okay, bro. Let's see it. I really want you to fail this. Sense? Yeah. <laughs> well, you can't fail a fortune roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I know. You too, buddy. I, <laughs> I just I, wanted I to be middling effect. Not fill up this clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the clock should have two uh, ticks in not... it already, though, because of yeah. Um... No, just just because you right. just because you said that, I'm going to be pushing myself for an extra bonus die here. <laughs> you it out? Oh no, no, I called it out last time. Yeah, she's all clear. Oh, okay. I'm clear. Oh, because she already has a trauma. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Boo! <laughs> 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 so that's two. That's two ticks. Yeah. It's going to be my cohort. <laughs> did I have two on them previously, or did I just mark this? I, I just you marked those for two. you, sorry. Yeah, no, there should have okay. been two. There should have been two from the great effect on my uh, on my roll before. I'm also just keeping that clock on the main sheet, like on the map oh, sheet. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. I I, I have a copy yeah, of it. No, I, I have a copy of it on the map sheet. Whoever wants to can keep it on their character sheets. I'm just keeping it there since it's kind of a thing you two are both yeah. working on or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah, we were writing these clocks separately. Okay. Yeah, that's totally fair. Sorry, I got confused. That, that, that's what? my fault. So yeah. just because I'm keeping track. Are, you, are they not the same clock? Yeah, this is an important no, distinction, actually. I didn't think they were. I thought it was very much a race between... Because they have, they have the same outcome. But no, I, I, I thought the distinction I, was between... Were they more allied to uh, Emmeline, or were they more allied to Emmelise? I, I so, agree so, with you. So, the clock being filled in, I thought, was whether they join. Yeah, I thought that's... what it that's clock, Yeah, but... I, I think it's both. I think it's one is Amelise gets them to join, and one is Emmeline gets them to join. Yeah, okay, exactly. So I've, got a man I've got to manage two clocks on my side as well. Okay. Well, I mean, you don't have to manage them. We can Sorry. manage them ourselves. Yeah, uh, we, I didn't take care of them I, I, just fine. I record okay. the important clocks. So you guys do want to make them separate clocks, though, is what? Yeah, yeah, I, I, okay. I, I, I like them being intention from the start. Okay, yeah. cool. Just want to make sure. Okay. All right. And you put those two dots onto the one on my character sheet, right? Yeah, sorry. So you should take those off. Sorry, that was my bad. Okay, so we got, uh, we got no. three going on. Okay. Well, no, no, I'll, I'll leave them since I got the two, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. don't add yeah. two more. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just wondering, had I done this before? Uh, yeah, and so I'm going to spend that last free coin of mine as well to. Take a little trip up to that uh, blue coat station. We had just sort of taken, maybe you know, find one out of the one of the guards who's maybe just coming in for a shift or just about to leave his shift. Rough him up a little bit, sort of order him. Um, Wait a minute, you, sort of you, tell him this to... is your thing. Why are you roughing him up? There's going to be consequences to that. Well, it's... yeah, I, I said roughing. I said roughing him up. I uh, corrected myself a little bit. Just sort of. It should be it's another command rule essentially you just sort of tell him uh, to burn some of the files we ha he has on us because I know we have them. So you're reducing heat? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. Come on. Uh, is that just a pure fortune roll then? Or uh, it's a command fortune roll, yes. I mean, it would have position if you had, were actually roughing him up, because that would be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Bad. Oh, there's that five I wanted. <laughs> so that's oh. two, so that's three? three? Two. Two, two that's the right. Where does that put us for heat? Uh. 
And yeah, that's all my coin. Carry on, fearless leader. God, my heat's so high. <laughs> Uh, no, did you take that off, Chris? Or? No, I haven't taken anything off yet. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I got it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, our heat's still really high, guys. <laughs> I tried, damn it. I expected to have more coin. Alright. We also, uh, we're going to start getting, let, we're going to accrue heat slower now because we've got that um, blue coat intimidation claim. So, yeah, but that still takes place after you get your heat from the thing. So like, oh, does it? Yeah, because it's a, it's a downtime yeah. thing. No, it just says minus two heat per score, right? Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So there's another thing which yeah. reduces heat. At downtime, okay. Yeah, I get them mixed that, up. That, it's not that. It's a special ability, I think. Okay. Yeah. That's not... There's a shadow's good. ability that makes it easier to reduce heat. Yeah. Okay. I think there's also a smuggler, an assassin's one or something. There, there, there are other abilities which basically say... Assassins have one ember one. death, I know that. Yeah, although ember death, I don't understand. If you've got crow's vow, you don't need ember death, stupid. Um, there's a reason for it, I think. Um, yeah, if you want to destroy a body, um, there are much easier ways to destroy bodies. No, it's it's not if you want to destroy a body, it's if you want to destroy a you, spirit. Yeah, you dis disintegrate the spirit. I, I can and, get the, the and the body, yeah. Well, yeah, I, you, I, you don't always have a whisper, right? Like, yeah. Or a leech. I mean, if you've got a whisper or a leech, you generally speak to people. Fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's a it's a, it's, thing. it's a yeah, good like safe for that. And Ember Death just guarantees that you can do it. Yeah, cost. I don't know. It, it seems. I think it's a, I think it's a safety yeah. net ability. Like, like, stress cost is a high cost. Yeah, three's a lot. Three's a lot of stress for it. Or what I consider a low effect that is easily achievable by other means. Like I said, I th I, mean, I think it's a safety net thing where it's like if you don't have your leech or you don't have your whisper and you just yeah. need to make sure this gets done, then anyone can do it, right? That, like, that yeah. Luke, that might also be an interpretation thing because to me that is not a low effect. Like to disintegrate a uh, living victim's spirit when you kill them, like I there's it was a whole. A deep victim. No, it says just well, it's it's as you kill them. The, it says the oh. moment you kill them. Um, and, like, there's a whole tier four faction that has that as their sole purpose, right? So it seems like it's probably reasonably so difficult like, to do. What, what faction is that? The Spirit oh, Warden. Yeah, the Spirit Warden. Yeah, so. That's not their whole purpose. Well, but it is a it it's, is a it's their of It's their purpose. primary responsibility, right? Yeah. Like, I've been looking into it and reading the lore, and I've I'm convinced their primary responsibility is to wipe out other vampires to keep the playing field. Playing field that's probably field. true, yeah. Yeah, that's well, like probably that definitely true. That might just be a difference in interpretation. Well, well, I was introducing it each time at the con, and the thing that hit me is it's like, they hate vampires, but their uh, Grand High uh, Inquisitor, previously in his comeback, is Lord Skulop, who's the most famous vampire in the city, so... <laughs> and I'm like, what? And then I'm like, why would that be the case? And I was like, because he wants to work out all the other vampires, obviously. Yeah, you gotta be King Vampire. Yeah. Makes sense. Anyway. Makes sense. Because otherwise it's just too weird. <laughs> Okay, who's me? Uh, I guess it's me. Alright, uh, I'm gonna do playbook training, which gives me an advance, which I'll figure out sometime. <laughs> Probably when I need one. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna do prowess training. Uh, Alakai. Alakai, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna do prowess training, just cause I want two dots. Um, I'm going to spend the coin to indulge my vice. Uh, and I guess I'm going to go back down to Silkshore whoring so I get an extra dice. Which is probably going to end up being the one that overindulges me, but whatever. 
Nope, not even close. All right. Um, I really didn't think of reducing heat, but I want to. We we also wanted to, uh, like I'm gonna spend some coin to do some more actions in a minute because we wanted to um, work on this dirt we got on Lord Rowan, right? Yeah. So we don't have a long term clock for that yet. No. Yeah, I was gonna. I was gonna start one. I was gonna start one. Yeah. Yeah. I need to know what you want out so I can tell you how big a long term pro. Um. Uh, I want to understand its significance so that in a negotiation with Rowan, when I say, uh, you should like when we go to blackmail him essentially and say like listen you should take us seriously if you don't we know what we know what the dirt on you is i want i want it to sound like i actually know what i'm talking about and not like, i know that there's a bunch of papers that have your name on them but don't really know so what they mean i want to know what it means significance, what do you mean do you mean uncover everything or do you mean understand what why he's afraid of the gray cloaks and what they were trying to find out, but not find out what they were trying to find out, or find out a hint of what's going on, but not details. Because these are there six clock, eight clock, and twelve clock. Yeah, um, I want. I don't need the full picture, but I want enough that were it to come up. I would be able to reasonably paint a picture as though I knew more than I knew. Uh, I want to know enough to be able to, uh, like, okay. I want to. I want to know the. I want to have the the dots of the connect the dots picture. I don't necessarily need to be able to connect them. That's an eight clock. Okay. Uh, and I know Chris, you had mentioned that you wanted alakai to to help with that but i was thinking about that i was thinking about it um i think i'll wait for now like i'll let you see and get where you get and like find out what we get and then maybe maybe he'll try and connect the dots on his own or something like that mm -hmm. you've got your own long term clock as well yeah well it it'll make more sense for her to get what she gets and then if she shares it with everyone, which I guess is a thing that will have to be discussed later, like then we'll go off of that. Um, yeah. But yeah. Um, um, your options, and you have so many good options on your sheet. <laughs> Relicai. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, and it, it's a thing, if Emmeline asks for help or whatever, like, then yeah, he'll help. Like, if it's a thing where she's like, who is this person, like, what's this person, then like, yeah, he'll absolutely, like, yeah, I, okay, yeah, no, actually, let's just do it together if you're cool with that, Thomas. Like, I think. Yeah, sure, yeah. Unless, unless, for, unless you have some reason where Emily would want to keep it, like, secretive or anything like that. No, because, no. because technically, she did, like, sneak off and find the files mostly herself, right? So, like, you have the fictional positioning if that's where you'd want to be. No, she did sneak off and find the files mostly by herself, but that's because in that score, that was her priority. And mm -hmm. she had stated that prior to the score. She was like, we should do this to get this stuff. The fight with the Grey Cloaks and getting the, the claim was a, a total... Um, right byproduct okay. of that in her mind at least so and, and to her this is like this should be the crew's priority so she would definitely right. say like hey let's work on this together right okay um i'm wondering if i should we, if we should try to acquire an asset because i we had talked about like getting a clerk or something to help us with it too um should we like acquire an asset first and then get them to help us so, solve it so, or just do it so, ourselves that would only help you for one role of change the waste, um, because essentially what uh, the clerk would be is quality documents. So that would be either a tier upgrade or a long-term project in its, of itself to get quality documents in your layer. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll just go for it ourselves. Then. Okay. 
Um, and maybe yeah, like, yeah, maybe fictionally, like the coin spending here to get these extra downtime actions is like it yeah. is pulling on some contacts and stuff. But but yeah, yeah. you don't need to do these wire assets. It's doing getting a clue in all the rest. But but I mean, acquiring an asset just for one downtime clock thing is a bit overkill in my mind. Yeah, I agree. I think you're right. Cool. So I'm just going to roll study then to, to work on this. Uh, oh, actually, I guess I'll do it as a fortune roll. Oops. Um, and you're doing uh, it as a group activity? Um, I think it probably makes more sense for us to just do it as individual. Yeah, separate pieces. Just yeah. Just okay. spend the coin to get the extra downtime actions. Okay. So I'm rolling one die. Uh, Uh, should we do the clock on the cruise sheet? Uh, yeah, we can do it like that. Cool. I always forget the cruise sheet has a clock section. <laughs> um, oh, and Luke, we do have a pending entanglement too. That's yeah, still out there. Okay, I just know. making sure, making sure we all remember. Cool. So that's two ticks on there. Uh, do you want me to spend my coin first? Uh, I'll go ahead and like Emily probably like has a list of like names and places and stuff like that. Yeah. And uh, Alakai's job is just gonna be to go like scope those out, start getting a bead on the people, like following them around, seeing who they interact with, what they're you know affiliated with and that kind of stuff. Um, is it a survey or a pro? I was going for hunt because he's tracking down the people. Okay. Yeah, I, I heard I heard hunt there too, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to track down the people and like get trails and paths that they go on basically. Like um so, so um you, you it can just be a standard fortune roll or you can make it risky great. And the, 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 the risk is people notice you looking and you and you start getting um and you may get you'll get a complication out of it. Um yeah, let's do that. Let's make it risky great. Risky great. And actually so, you push it, you? no, the text of Scout says when you gather info to locate a target. How specific does the phrase a target need to be? Scout would count in this. Alright, I'm going to use my advance and go ahead and take Scout then. Yeah, that, this yeah. is the, a very match type of thing Scout would Yeah, like. I just didn't know how literally and like restrictively we wanted to define a target. Like... No, this feels it, like yeah. Okay, this feels specifically what a target is. Yeah. Then yeah. This 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 feels like because it's in an urban setting, right? Exactly what scout is meant for. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Um. Make sure I don't have any other abilities that are relevant here. No, I do not. Okay. Okay. Well, that makes it uh that makes it a crit actually because it's extreme effect. So. Was great effect. What made it? Oh, it was risky. Uh, it was risky. Scout. Great, and then Scout makes it extreme. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So that is seven. You filled the clock. We're close. Congratulations. <laughs> Do we? No, extreme is five ticks, isn't it? No. Great it's a. Five tick. I thought great was three five. ticks. <laughs> oh no! It makes it six. Yeah, and then oh, it, yes. yeah, Sorry. yeah. So it's just five ticks. Yeah. So Sorry. It, it's set, it's seven ticks in total on the clock right now. Awesome. Uh, right. Yeah. So 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 tell so, me. Oh yeah. Who you're following? What you're hunt, hunting? Because there's a complication here, and I need to know who you're following to know what complication it is. I don't know. Like it would be based off of like the information that Emmeline had gotten with her four. Um, I guess. Yeah. Are you following gray coats? Coats based on this, or are you following? People named the Grey Cloaks were watching. People the Grey Cloaks were watching. People actually, like, affiliated with Rowan. 
Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna make a fortune roll. Is it his third cousin on his wife's side? <laughs> Um, so, I mean, it depends, because uh, one thing you uncovered, and I can tell you this, um, is that the third cousin on his wife's side is listed as a, um, as a CI, as an informant. Okay. So, if, if you were following him, then this would play out differently. So, do you? Because he's listed in there, but he's listed as an informant where this information comes from. I tell you what, can you give me, like, two or three options that Emmeline would have gotten from her fortune roll, and, like, just little snippets of what they are, and then I'll pick the one that's most interesting? So, 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 so... So we've got cousin. Uh, you can follow the cousin. Yeah. And, and basically he leads you down, and, and you find yourself kind of hemmed into a blind alley where you see the signs of the fallen meeting with the grey cloaks and him discussing about setting his not setting him up so much as exposing some conspiracy. You have you follow the um you follow various people mentioned in Leviathan Hunters and the actual blue coats and you likewise um find yourself stuck in a different blind alley, but the same thing, and they're discussing what, silencing someone. Or the final option is you, um, you, you kind of follow it and you find yourself in Charter Hall and you get grabbed by the blue coats there who, because, because city council members have complained about you and you get held under contempt of court, which seems very strange considering you haven't been to court. <laughs> um, do we want to just keep the cousin stuff and keep it all in house for now? Like, just, just so you know, um, I rolled a six for the thing, so yeah. that means all of these are actually fantastic for you for opportunities to further uncover the clock and uncover things yeah but also means that it's fantastically dangerous for you too yeah i'm just trying to figure out like what is a group we're kind of interested in like i like i like keeping that that second cousin or third cousin on the yeah. left side around as an npc okay I think he's a that could be a very fun character. Yeah, maybe maybe Emmeline like pushed for that. Like you should follow this guy. I'm gonna get I'm gonna give him a name. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say we should give him a name. But yeah, maybe Emmeline probably like pushed and she was like, This guy seems really interesting. You should look into him. So yeah. Okay, so we jumped to that scene, but before we get too much into it, I just wanna make him NPC. Of course, after Go for doing it. this then turn around and kill him, but I guess we can make him a ghost. Yeah, maybe. We might not kill him right away. Yes, yeah, for the... Okay. So his name is Belarus. Belarus Rowan, of course. Wait, it's on, but it's on the wife's side, right? So it would be a different last name, oh, wouldn't that's, it? That's true. Unless the wife was also a Rowan. <laughs> that's that's the secret that's the secret there's super incest maybe he's a rowan through through marriage that's really tempting but i'm gonna make him a clay clay
Sorry. Uh, so, what was his first name again? Just so I'm going to write it down. Belarus. B E L E R I S. Cool. Belarus Clave. Nice. And that's C L A I V E. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I also added him in the. Yeah, I also added him in the notes on our crew sheet. Um. So yeah, um, they're talking about uncovering some conspiracy, and and and, and he, um, and he's saying that once you know that the way will be clear for, uh, his, you know, him and his to kind of seize control of House Rowan. Hmm. So, the impression you're getting is he is most of the signs of the fallen. You is using, look, always looking for an end to kind of make himself seen uh, in nobility. He's he's using this as kind of to discredit whatever conspiracy it is. He knows about it, but he's not helping because it's the right thing to do. He's helping because then that'll take Lord Rowan out of the way and allow him room to further move up House Rowan that he married into. Mm. So he's trying. Sorry. So he's trying to take out Rowan. Is that what you're saying? Like, well, yeah, so, okay. so the Great Blacks are investigating some kind of conspiracy, and he's helping them, and the impression you get is he's helping them because it will remove Lord Rowan as an obstacle for him. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, do you have any... Anything else there, or should I just spend a coin and roll to, to fill in that the rest of that clock? Um, well, we, we've got a complication you need to Yeah, yeah, that's what oh, I was going to say. Sorry. No, you're in a blind alley. They're down there. You that was my just, question there, sorry. You could just do a prow and try and stay hidden the whole time, or you could do something. I, I say that because, to full disclosure, there are opportunities to finish off that clock, depending on how you act. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna try and sneak in, I guess, closer to hear more of what they're saying, right? Like that makes sense. I'm gonna try to uh remain hidden. Maybe like maybe he like tries to like climb the side of a building or something and hear up from the rooftop or something. Um okay. is that fictionally relevant? I mean, I'm not, so, so, so this blind alleyway, I mean, these buildings are multiple stories, so, 
It's not like these single stories. They're like apartment buildings, right? Right. So I'm not sure if you could hear if you were up on the roof of a building. Okay. Um... Could you maybe, like, prowl up to, like, a window and, like, slide in the window? Yeah. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm hearing is use a prowl to get high elevation and to get closer to hear what's going on. Yeah, something like that. Awesome. <laughs> well, you're already in a hidden position, so I feel like that makes your position controlled. Alright. Hmm. 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 Um. Scout also says when I hide in a prepared position, this isn't prepared, right? No. All right. Prepared is like prepared as if I had spent like a survey to like find a place to hide and then I was hiding there. Yeah. Well, like when you did you, the snipering things on the right. lines of the fallen, that would have been a prepared position. Right. Okay. Mm. And I'll just roll it. I'm not that worried about it. There you go. Six. I got six. Boom. <clears throat> so. so, yeah, um. Yeah, so. That fills in the clock. Um. You can just stay where you are. I can talk through the stuff, but, um. You can say where you are, or you can do more of the complication. It's really your call. But as far as mechanics go, the clock is now done. I can talk you through later what you guys have figured out as a result of all this. Um, so what else What else is lingering with the complication? Like, just well, this. They're still there. You're still in the window. We can cut to afterwards. I want to give you the opportunity to say no. I want to. I don't know what you'd want to do. All right. I'm assuming there's nothing you want to do. In which case, we can just cut the back that you're here. It's hard because I am both both reckless and soft. So like, <laughs> so like, yep. I'm not just gonna jump down and stab all of them in the head necessarily. But I'm not sure he's also going to carefully slink away. Um, can I follow the cousin like when they when the meeting ends and like follow him somewhere private? Um, yeah, that way it's a prowl hunt. It's hunt because I'm I'm looking for like a place to ambush him, basically. Pro and hunt both uh, are prefer uh, 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 preparation roles for ambushing. So again, I return my question to you. Pro and hunt. It's it's a hunt because it, in his mind, that's that's what it's for. Okay. Is like cool. yeah. Okay, I ask because that affects. So so it would be risky. It it affects. Yeah. The risk. So, because you're using Hunt, the risk is he will, he will figure out he's being followed. Right. Okay. Which won't remove your ambush. It'll just mean that he will be more on guard. Right. More, more cagey. More, <laughs> right. You won't figure out you're following him or you're trying to ambush him. He'll just figure out someone's following him. That's fair. Um, it's a risky standard. Risky standard. <laughs> Bad roll. So, Bad he figures roll. out someone's following him. 
and he just he just goes into I'm gonna say he just loses you as a result. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. And you lose this opportunity. That's fair. That makes sense. Okay. What's next? Oh, so uh so you 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 got an eight, so you don't know everything, but it it, it appears the grey cloaks the expulsion from the blue coats was because they were investigating Lord Strangford and Lord Rowan over the suspicious deaths and mutilations of several longshoremen and um, one quartermaster. Uh, they were trying to find out what the cause of these murders and what it was going on. Uh, and and find out what why this was happening. Um, of course, shortly after the investigation happened, the great folks were told to drop it, as were the investigators. The investigators are pretty um, isolated. I mean, they're seen as the most incorruptible groups who pulled from outside. So there wasn't much they could do about them. So instead, they disavowed the blue coats working on it, and they had to leave the grey folks because of the up charges, although maybe they weren't. Um, yeah, and so the great folks are still trying to find out the cause of these deaths and why these longshoremen and the automatic got killed. Um, and, Ro and Rowan and Strangford are trying to conceal it. The other thing you got, because it was an eight, is there's also some kind of internal power struggle going on between Strangford and Rowan. That's all you really can go on an eight. Mm. And sorry, you said Rowan and Strangford are covering something up? Yes. There's some kind of conspiracy going on. Uh, there's been multiple long form deaths. Uh, a, a notable quartermaster's death who was from a good family. Um, uh, what, what you uncovered, because it was mainly from a great folk point of view, they're not sure the exact details of why, but but they but you know but they see the dots that these as you said before that these deaths were happening. Uh, it's part of a conspiracy, but it's also part of an internal power struggle between Rowan and Strangford and whatever conspiracy that is going on. Okay, cool, sweet. Because you know before you said you wanted to see the dots and how not how they connect. So those are the dots. That yeah, makes total sense. Yep. Um, just as one last downtime thing, I'm gonna spend my final coin uh, to just train my playbook, um, just to gain two experience awesome. in there. Uh, Not your pitch. That's me. I'm probably gonna do that on mine, but I'm gonna let Thomas do what he's doing. Oh no, that's it. I don't have like. I mean, I don't. I don't have anything. I. I like really set up for describing that. I think it's probably what I, how I described it last time is her with uh, the um, the rovers, uh, like 12s's crew, uh, doing some more um, like acting practice. Uh, oh, and does that fill up your paper? It doesn't. It uh, I just marked it, so it only gets me to six. Okay. But. okay. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, work on my train, my pet clock, some more. Um, so I'll spend my last coin to do that. Um, and I, yeah, that's what I'm trying to decide. Um, I think it, I'm just going to use command and it's just reinforcing, like, it's just like training your dog to like, listen, you know, like, this is a bad thing to do. Don't do this by like repeated commands and like, stay away from that and everything like that so that it gets a banded portion of it. Yeah. Yep. Nothing, nothing big. Alright, one 
pick. That's fine. Better than oh. none. I'm just going to go and do my eye drops, and then we can start talking about what we want to do for the score. Yep. Sweet. Okay. I'm just going to grab some food. Yeah, I might go fill up on water. Hey guys. How's it going? Hey. So have, have, have I introduced you guys to a um, faction that is probably best described as sand vampires yet? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you repeat that? <laughs> sand vampires. Nope. Awesome. Cool. Um, Remove so... your vampires. Here we go. Oh, it's just an aside. Um, so... Um, you get a request from the Silver Nails. Apparently, they're finishing up the lightning barrier around the Lost District. 
the, the last thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but and, and it's an urgent request because essentially they've become under attack by these vicious undead who seem to swim through the sand. So it's an urgent serving. <laughs> so this is your your cooperation entanglement. Okay. So you can either help them out, which will be the score, or you can do the Lord Row and stuff, in which case that will have consequences to your relationship with them. Yeah. Thomas isn't back yet, right? Uh, no, he got, I thought I saw him. Yeah, I saw him flash, and now his camera is just black for me, so. Okay, so I'm not the only one. Yeah, no. That's good. And he's not talking in the Discord, so presumably he's still away. Hmm. Um, my inclination will be to go fight the sand vampires. No, I never see there were sand vampires. I just asked two unrelated questions. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> my inclination will be go to help our staunch allies, the Silver Nails, in their plight against the unknown threat. But it's going through the sand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um... Yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm I'm at least will agree to that. <laughs> will she? She will, yes. Oh. I, 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 I have four favorite horrifying monsters that, that, that are in the Deadlands and these are one of them. I don't think you guys have been in the Deathlands enough to actually have come across most of them. No. Well, like, only Oscar and I are survivors, so the other two are going to have to figure out how to not die in the horrible miasma. Yes. As long as the Deathlands... That's going to take forever, isn't it? What? What are you asking about, Matt? Ask him making a statement waiting for this to load. I mean, does anyone have any coin left? I don't, but I don't need it. So. Yeah, but someone needs to acquire assets so you end all your game. Yeah, yeah, I know. So you don't need it, but... Yeah, need it. other people do. But, but the gang does, and so does everyone who isn't, and so does everyone else, I think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's everyone else. Yep, we oh, don't have... And Alakai have it, right? Yeah. But Emilise doesn't have it, and Emmeline doesn't have it, and the gang doesn't have it. Correct. New message. Yeah. Yeah, Which is... Out. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. Yeah, I mean, we're probably not going to be able to go fight sand vampires. But, you know, that'll just be a roleplay thing that'll have to happen. What's our what, what's our problem? We don't have any coin, so we can't gather any assets for you guys to get suits to not die in the horrible, deadly miasma of the Deathlands. I mean, unless Amelie just thinks she's super tough and is gonna come anyways. 
No, no, but I think... Um, <laughs> I think this gets brought up, and Amelie says... I believe I can help solve that problem. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into my stash and pay two out of that to uh, do a acquire asset. Okay. I was wondering if that would happen. Yes, it will. It will be. You so should. Drop two out of here. Are you going to acquire enough assets for everyone? <laughs> I mean, that's what yeah. <laughs> well, no, but I mean that's a player well, yeah, character. I'm sort of by default. That's how it works. I see your webcam, Thomas. I do not hear you. So, yeah, half of the pro half of the problems have been solved. If you do a particularly good job of enunciating everything, maybe we can read your lips and figure out what is going on. But uh... I'm assuming that um, is it go is it um, uh, is it going through just a repeating step of ISIS connecting on the Discord? What's it telling you? I just double check the uh, settings and make sure it's set on your microphone and check your system settings and make sure your, your headset microphone and all that basic stuff yeah huh. uh but while we're doing that like do you have any objection to us going out in the deathlands and doing this if we acquire assets or do you want to do the row and stuff because then we can move along with like acquire asset roles or whatever while we're waiting on you to figure that out the Silver Nails uh, have requested our aid as part of our cooperation entanglement. They are being attacked by mysterious creatures that swim through the sand while trying to construct their lightning barrier. These creatures may or may not be sand vampires. <laughs> we don't know that, though. But, uh, we, as, as play, yeah, in an unrelated conversation, sand I vampires were brought up. have met my sand vampires <laughs> in previous scores, or whether it was just other things yeah. I've run. Totally unrelated. Um, it's probably a different sand creature. But uh, the Silver Nails are asking for our help, and if we don't help them, you know, it's going to affect our status with them, etc., etc., so I, either you'd have to sacrifice the the here with a rep, which you don't have, or you'd lose one status. Order. Yeah. Okay. Do cool. You really need them to be a tier three faction. Really? It would be nice to have a friend still, like. <laughs> um. But yeah. It seems like Thomas says we're in, so let's let's uh, do a acquire asset roll and get you guys some fucking. Uh, so suits. here's a question: uh, If you go to night to the night market to do it, you can up the quality 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 by one if you spend two straight. Is it quality by one or is it extra die? <laughs> I will check. It's plus one die to acquire an asset here at the cost of two stress. Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now, Verizon, Tom. All right. Okay. Weird. I just, had to the, I just had to switch the USB port that my my mic was plugged in. There you go. Weird. It costs two stress, but for this, I'd strongly recommend it. Uh, I mean, where does Amelie go to acquire uh, protection? Oh, sort of the yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely the night market. That's what. That's the place she's most familiar with in terms of buying stuff. Okay. And you can buy yeah, any rolling stuff. Exactly. exactly. I mean, technically, you don't have to buy it. You could just spend the action or stress to like fucking steal it from someone, but. Yeah, I I know what her style is. Into her savings. Yeah. Yeah, I probably have to go back and probably bartering some. Uh, so it's our tier. 
plus that one die? It's your tier. It's your tier. Plus, if you've been one stress, it's one die. And I don't know if you have is any... It, oh, is it just one stress? Uh, no, it's two stress. It's just one stress? It's two stress. Okay, well. Yeah. Darn. It's essentially pushing yourself. But you can also push yourself in addition to that. Can you push yourself for gathering assets? I for, guess you can. I think you, you can, can push, push yourself for anything. For anything. So, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Well, under other circumstances, I might, but I don't think I have the. If, especially if we're going up against sand vampires, I don't think I have the stress to call me. I mean, yeah, that. it's it's probably not worth too stress to not have a functioning protection suit in the death miasma of the Deathlands while you're fighting sand vampires. I wouldn't worry about it too much. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just messing no, with no, you. I know, I know what you're saying, but here's the thing. I'll have three, if I push myself again to get three no, guys total, I'll have three you stress the left, left to work does with. not need the thirds. Yeah, I mean, I don't care what you do. I, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna walk out there in uh, my I, fucking. I actually got a vision of you putting on the suit, but you just leave the hood open. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so it's gonna be. It's another alpha dominant move. <laughs> screw you, Emmeline. No, it's not even that. He doesn't. He's not even gonna put on the suit. He's just gonna straight up walk out with like a shirt on, like his shirt off, and be like, "You people look ridiculous." <laughs> okay, so you guys have tier one suits. So these are like third hand suits. Um, they they all protect you, but they the the rubber's kind of half perish. Um, they they require like deep sea diving style helmets. They're a bit awkward, uh, and a bit easy to damage, but they will protect you <laughs> until they're damaged. Then you're dead. In which case. <laughs> You're dead. Then we start a clock. Death clock. Death clock! I don't know. I personally think when things like the Mayas, my death is the most boring of options. I prefer mutation. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It's going to be real hard for Emmeline to get all her acting gigs with an arm growing out of her forehead, but I believe in her. She's going to get all those mutant roles. <laughs> Oh I'm no! Casting. Yeah, she's gonna be a character actor. Terrible. Yep. <laughs> she's gonna be the Steve Buscemi of the setting. <laughs> oh, poor Emily. Okay. So, uh, so are we just doing a straight assault on these? So, so, as per normal, you get unlimited giver information rolls, but you have nothing to do any preparation. So, but you can definitely gather information before you get in with your plan. Uh, like, did the silver nails give us all the details they've got, or do should, would it be beneficial? I mean, it was an them? urgent request for help, so okay, it's not. I'm assuming it arrived by um, some kind of messenger crow. Okay. A um, request um, that 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 um, along the lines the final construction of lightning barrier almost complete, at attacked by by creatures from the deathland coming from the sand. Send help, or else all is lost. God, I need better gather information skills. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah I, you got a scout. I think I've got like one. You got a scout. Yeah, but that's oh, good on. Yeah, I don't see Just a way. Just sort of by virtue of the fact. Oh, go ahead, Matt. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Just so by virtue of the fact that I did go out and I did sort of grab this suit. Maybe while I was, I'm thinking maybe while I was talking with whoever was selling them to me or however I was getting them, I uh, just, I'm just, maybe the conversation sort of shifted over into, you know, people talking about Deathland stuff and maybe I heard maybe like some rumors about what these things might be. Rumors no, um, in you know, air quotes. Okay, that's a consult roll. 
Yep, that's exactly what I was saying. That's no, screw it. I'm just gonna. Yeah, wow. I know. Mean, <laughs> I mean, you know. So, 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 so. Why do we have such <laughs> shit characters? There's all sorts of horrible things out on the Deathlands. There's, mm. there's ghosts that are devour your souls. Apparently, there's rumors of in the um, just outside Lightning Barrier in the Dusfolian uh, Harbor is rumors of a ghost the size of a mountain kind of lounging in the water, a human <laughs> ghost. Um, there are uh, go rumors of clouds of ghosts who descend on things, stripping it of life, and you know, that the, the, some things swim through the sand, and some things um, fly through the air and that that the water is in itself alive. I mean, you know, all sorts of things. Um. Alright. I have a question and this is going to be a great uh, action reach. So, survey says, specifically, like in the reference sheet, Survey a location or situation, understand what's going on, sense trouble before it happens, gather information about opportunity or exploits. Can I survey uh, the Deathlands through a contact? <laughs> I have a contact who is an explorer, <laughs> Dowler, who I'm sure has traversed many places in the world and the Deathlands. Can I can I talk to him and use his information to get a better idea of like not the geographical landscape but you know the meta landscape of like what's out there and what could possibly be attacking them or is that reaching too far Um so normally that would be more of a consult however I think you can, but at, because you're using survey, which is more situational awareness, but you do have it when he talks about it, it would be at lesser effect. Okay. So you can, but it would be a muted effect, but you could kind of like infer from the conversations with him what that means and stuff, because you've seen stuff, you've been in the Deathlands. And I also have Scout, so that would negate the like the diminished effect, right? It would cancel out, what, and it would still just be. Wording on scout side? When you gather info to locate a target, you get plus one effect. Are you locating a target though? I mean, you know where I'm, you're going. I'm finding yeah. out. I'm finding out what the target is. I d I don't really buy that for Scout. Okay, that's like, fair. That that doesn't seem to me to be within the spirit of. Yeah, that's fair. What that ability is. That is totally fine. Okay. Well I'll take uh I'll take reduced effect on that. Um So what? Uh controlled limited? It's controlled limited, right? Yep. Alright. Um mid. Get one extra die. Do I care? Um, do I care about pushing myself for this? I feel like I should. Yeah, I'll push myself for it. There we go. I got six. Nice, you got a six. Yeah. That's what you needed. Yeah. What do you want to know? About uh, these creatures that swim through the sand and would be in the general area that we know the attacks are coming from. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to be fighting. So, is the goal? So, so I think you got a you got a six, which is technically a four five, which tells you. So he talks about rumors uh, and seeing signs of these creatures. And from what you, it sounds like is 
in the deep lands, bad things happen, um, and sometimes people get trapped. And what would ha can happen is the trapped people might not just might not die, but instead the miasma or whatever in the deep lands might burn out their soul. And there are huge swarms of angry feral ghosts in the deep lands, and they will um, anchor themselves to these husks. Um, but the thing is, unlike normal vampires, which are reasonably sane and have especially prepared hollow, these are not especially prepared, nor are the vampire the ghost facts sane, or in fact often from one entity. And so they the, they create these packs of uh, anchored vampires who are these desiccated um they're all hard to tell they're even here, human at one point. Vampires who move by swimming through the sand of the Deathlands. And that they, they, they have been known to travel in packs looking for signs of life to devour it. They seem to be destructive and chaotic in nature. Good to know. So did that tell you what you needed to know? Yeah. I mean, it, 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 gave, it, it gave me enough knowledge to be like, that's probably what we're facing, yeah. My next, my next question was going to be like, in the setting, how common knowledge is information about like, things that are potent against vampires and stuff, or do we need to roll for that? Like, so so, so in the setting... You know, there are things you know, just know, um, especially with your your relationship with the silver nails, who are named that because of their preferred technique of killing vampires, of driving a silver nail through their heart. Mm -hmm. And and the reason why that's effective is because um, it forces the spirit out. See, uh, vampires, it's well known, the most effective way to kill them is to force the spirit to separate from the body. Um, neither of them, once they become anchored, can survive once separated. So that would is the most effective way to kill a vampire. Um, cutting off their heads is a good way to slow down a vampire, but it will in time heal and recover. Uh, likewise, um, burning a vampire. But basically, you can just... you. You would need to destroy its spirit, destroy its completely destroy its body, not just incapacitate or even fatal harm, or separate its spirit and its body. Separating them is the easiest way. Um, an another way that might work is if you had a ghost scourge, you could use that. It would be would require probably an attune to do it, but. You could use that to suck the ghost into the bottle, which again would destroy both. And probably the ghost scourge. Um, yeah. But, but, but it's known that vampires are spirits anchored to a body, destroy one or the other, or separate them, and they're done. Cool. So, we need weapons to kill vampires. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, as far as Elika is concerned, I'm going to keep my attention in Deathlands. Um, in his experience, electroplasmic ammo usually does the trick. Yeah, I mean, that's good for me, but again, I have to worry about the fucking infants I'm dragging out here in their, you know, bubble suits, right? Like... <laughs> So what I'm hearing you say is solo score. <laughs> Honestly, like like the, the weapons to kill vampire thing, that feels like something we do as a flashback. Like Okay. Like so you, like Luke, you it like it's silver nails are like if you drive a silver nail through its heart, like would a silver nail fall under the category of an unusual weapon? Yes. Yeah, so like that feels okay. like something like we can we can pretty easily have on us. Sure. I mean, the the, the more interesting question to me is 
uh, driving a silver nail. I mean, I mean, the silver nails have that in addition to spirit killing spears, spirit devouring horses. Driving a silver nail through a vampire is not really easy. <laughs> not an easy we're, feat. We're about to find out how hard it's going to be. Yeah, given how well I've been rolling, it's time to get a new character. Yeah. Oh, good. I, I was always going to do this, but, but I just realized that you guys are walking in it with, um... Actually, I don't think you do have a leech or a whisperer on staff anymore. I mean, we have, you know, shitty Faust who's just, like, gone drinking BRB. Yeah. 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 He, he was never particularly effective, though. <laughs> We got uh we got two cutters and the greatest or well I mean I pound cutter ish <laughs> yeah. character and and the greatest actress Dusk Falls ever seen. Um actually I got uh, what I feel like is a cool option and it, it's kind of a payment, but kind of so you're going to help the silver nails, right? Mm-hmm. Uh and and all the rest. So my, this is just my view on it. The result of the score is you secure yourself a source. So you you get it to help this, but you secure yourself a source of both spirit killing spears and silver nails. Sweet. Because you're already tier three faction, and if you'd thought about it previously, I would have allowed you to establish this opportunity. It would require more to get spirit devouring horses. If nothing else, horses are really hard to get. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, I I feel like that's a fair offer because you're going to help them. You're not going to go okay, go fight this, ha ha, on your own without any effect. But it still right. impacts a lot. But the things you can add is saying you have uh, a what's the right word? You have a source for. You have yeah. the ability to get Sure. Uh, cool. Should we do the engagement roll then? What's your plan? Uh, yeah, I guess it's assault, right? Like, we're like, so it's like the silver nails are like, uh, come now, the enemy at the gates kind of thing, right? That yeah. was the message? Pretty much. So How it sounds like. There? Uh, can we borrow, uh, like a couple gondolas from the gondoliers? Uh, who it would a... require an acquire assets. I mean, they're plus one with us. Yeah. I'm not saying you can't. I um, mean, we could do it as a flashback. I mean, if it doesn't give you anything extra, then yes. I guess why I'm asking because it adds to the complication because you're going to have to walk through the lost district to get there. Uh, sorry, why would we have to walk through the lost di district to get there? Because they're being attacked at the border of the lost district where they're putting up the lightning, where they're building their own lightning barrier. No, but that's what I'm saying. Could we get some gondolas to get us there? And and my answer is yes. Um, if it's not going to give you a mechanical benefit of avoiding complications. Uh, if it is, then it needs to be an asset. Um, I'm fine with you. Think it be fine if we borrowed some of his coin. <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, we can take stuff out of stash or whatever. Some I'm more personally form. fine with just doing it as the fictional, like this is the way we can get there and we'll see what sort of complications yeah. we, we get. If you guys want to put some dice behind it, I'm, I'm with that. I've got plenty of stash, so I, I'm willing to, to make it all. I mean, this just, this just impacts, again, what our engagement rolls would be. You could not mm. do this, roll a six, and you get there no problem. Mm -hmm. You could do this, roll a one, and there's a problem. It just impacts the answer to those questions. I mean, you've got bold, and it's straightforward. So you know, there's yeah. two right there. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll spend the uh, I'll spend the 
I'll, I'll liquidate two of my stash um, and spend a coin to make an acquire asset roll. So I go. I don't know. Do we have like a contact with the with the gondoliers? We know the physiker that in, that was introduced to us like via them, and Faust the had phys- met. Yeah. The physiker's in the faction, so the physiker can count as a contact. Okay, cool. No. So I'll I'll go to Eb uh, and uh, like tell him like, listen, we got to get to the lost her. district. Her ASAP. Her. Oh, sorry, her. Sorry, I haven't I haven't seen her on screen yet. Um, so tell her like we need to get to the lost district ASAP. Can you get uh, a couple of gondolas for us to to speed us on our way? Um, and like I give her like the the money as a uh, like. For your yeah. trouble, sort of thing. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna say because um, what the silver nails are doing here in the Gundley's best interest, this uh, fire acid will be in great effect, which ups the quality level. Okay. Do I get an extra die because she's our contact? Yes. Cool. Uh. So one for our tier. But, but then... also because you're talking through why, um, you you explained why that that's gonna have up the effect because yeah, um, the gondoliers. I uh, have a vested interest in the Silver Nails returning the Lost District. Mm. Cool. Five, so that's Six. an asset. Oh, that's yeah, because it, cause it, cause it, yeah. Cool. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so, ready for the questions? Yep. Is the operation bold or daring? I think so. Um, do, you, do anyone disagree? No. It, mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, I agree. We're racing, racing <laughs> to do things. It's not complex. Uh, does it expose vulnerability or hit them with the weakest? No. Um, has, uh, is target strongest defense approach or have special defenses of preparation? I wouldn't say they have special defenses. Yeah, and I mean, we are fighting them in their turf, like, but I, that might fall under the hostile turf thing, so. No, they're, they're, you're, but you're not, because the, um, the Silver Nails have already filled in the clock to take control. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're, we're fighting them on the Silver Nails turf. Yeah, you were fighting them on the Silver Nails turf. This is like the last hurrah when they're trying to take back their turf, but right now it is firmly Silver Nails turf. Right. Okay. Um... So, I'm going to say no. Uh, any friends or contacts in Gate 8? Yes, did. Any rivals or enemies interfering with the operation? I'm also going to say yes. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> it's fine. I'm excited to see that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some Hanged man! Hang- <laughs> no. No. Hanged man doesn't care. Oh, thank God. Uh, and then are there any other elements? Nope. Okay, so that's two dice, by my count. Three dice. Uh, nice. Sheer luck. Yeah, Sheer luck, bold and daring. Uh, allies cancel out. Yeah. Um, oh, two dice. Would have been one die, however, if you hadn't done the thing. Mm-hmm. Cool. Do the thing. Uh, I will roll that then. Oh. XP. <laughs> we need to stay away from. We need to stay away from the supernatural. We're gonna get it so never works much out well XP. for us. Yeah. Oh god, we're dead. It's fine. You're gonna be fine. We're gonna, we're gonna die after having learned so much about ourselves. <laughs> I'll be back in one second. I'm just gonna grab some hey. water. <laughs> we should have just bitch slapped the scions. 
Look, man, you gotta punch up. It's fine. Ugh. I'm back. Alright. Well, come on, shitty Deathland survival here. Don't fail me now. Yeah, no. It'll probably be fine. She'll be, you'll be able to get so much more frightening leverage uh, for your savage quirk when you have a horrible mutation. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> That's fair. Hey, yeah. That is really fair. Yep. So you guys are going down now through the Lost District, rushing there. Um, and then you see uh, two hooded figures uh, in the distance, but getting steadily closer as you go along the canal. One of them is not tall. The other one of them is not short. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, Emmeline, how's your fucking cursed hand doing, by the way? We're about to fucking find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. I told you it wasn't the hanged man. Yeah. Huh. I have other villains. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, so, yeah. And now the weather. <laughs> Oh, we also need to declare load. I assume I'm going heavy, but you know. Yeah, why would you go heavy? You guys were going heavy. Well, Emily, like, never. Emily's only gone heavy once, so I do have to ask. Like, I was gonna just say normal. See, uh, there you go. That's well, just... <laughs> like, honestly the difference between heavy and normal is only there. like it doesn't. Oh. And it's worth noting, you guys don't get the ghost spirit killing spears or the nails until you've actually reached the silver nails, because how else would you get them? Right. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, I'm going normal. I'm going heavy. I don't want to be slowed down. Yeah. Well, you know. The speed of Emily's death is zero done. miles per hour. Emily's <laughs> done the most damage by talking to people. Yes, this is true. Um, speaking of which, uh, so are they, <laughs> have, have they like stopped us, or do we just like see them as we go by, or what? They're, right now, they're about two hundred meters away. Okay. But um, I mean, you can just try and go by them, and I can tell you what happens, or you can do actions. Um. Okay. So Emmeline is like. She sees them off in the distance and looks I mean, down at her hand. I two strange figures in the distance. I mean, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and she looks down at her hand and, like, sees the the brand as well. And she doesn't know what it, what it means, but she's going to take a gamble here. Um, <laughs> and I'm, like, I'm going to greet them as though like we're like I'm gonna basically pretend like this means I'm cool right <laughs> we're down I'm, I'm down well, that's what it is. I'm gonna pretend that I'm, I'm in the game look I, I'm gonna just be like 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 give them a, like the, the salute and be like good evening sisters like <laughs> wonderful to see you which Good i know is completely ridiculous given that they're like one fucking hive mind ghost being uh but i want to see how this goes unless somebody so is gonna like you, stop me what do you want to achieve here i want <laughs> like if i'm successful here i want them to just like like wave like hello and be like we go on our way and they go on theirs like, I want them to cause us no trouble and just let us pass. Okay. Um, what what type of role are you trying to do? Uh, I'm going to be swaying just to, like, yeah. be, like, super cool. Like, hello. Like, I am... Hello, young people. I am also a... I, yeah, this I is totally the meme. Okay. This is... How do you do, my fellow demons? Yeah, this is totally your so, Buscemi so, moment, yeah. So, 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 so obviously this is a, just to get this out of the way is a desperate role, um, but I have a devil's bargain for you. Um, it's I would start at six o'clock, um, on which I'd mark as part of the devil's bargain one piece 
called uh -huh. Dimensional Instability. That sounds good. I don't know what it does. Take it. <laughs> I don't. I don't need you to tell me exactly what that means. Could you give me a little bit more detail about what that means? It means that um, the mark is kind of like a. So when you wave, the mark would react them, and the mark is kind of like um, not the door so much as a wedge and a wall, and and sandwiches untethering you from this reality okay. um so, and so, so that that so basically what will happen is by doing this you will have torn a little bit your 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 personhood a little bit away from the bindings of mundane reality so like i'd start quantum leaping between reality <laughs> and, and like the ghost field kind of like I, it'd be like fringe or something you ever seen fringe um i i have i i'm not seen it but i've heard about it um yeah maybe or maybe <laughs> it would mean that you would be lost in a dimension of non-equivian angles and unable to tell dreams from reality or maybe it would mean that 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 you wouldn't know if you were seeing the dimension you were in or some other dimension or maybe a whole bunch of things that i'll roll on later yeah to be honest emmeline barely can tell dreams from reality as it stands um it's, so it's essentially I'm... what this means is and you're not sure what this means because it would make you more like whatever the dimmer sisters are yeah Although i'm a, hun a dimmer sister I'm a hundred percent taking that devil's bargain. That's super fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It would, Love uh, it. And just to be clear, it would not make you a dimmer sister. Yeah. It would just make you would, what they are. Whatever yeah. weird ass shit they be. Yeah, I, yeah. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> um, so, uh, you said that's a six clock? Yep. And you're taking, we're taking one on it. Uh, I'm rolling Sway, it's Desperate, I get the Devil's Bargain die, I get my Daredevil yeah. die. Um, yeah. what's my, it, what's my effect? Standard, unless you can give a good reason why it should be, more or less, I mean... I mean, she's very personable. Uh, <laughs> that's why it's standard. I mean, it's really <laughs> you, you said my Winded Harm would only apply to prowess rolls, right? It doesn't feel like Yeah, it yeah, the, the Winded Harm doesn't apply to things like this. So. Okay, cool, so yeah. Uh, risky, or sorry, desperate standard makes perfect yep. sense. I get. Um, yeah, wait before you roll. Um, yeah. the, the 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 desperate. Shit, what what is the desperate? I oh. I mean, the obvious consequence that will happen is they 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 will um they will engage you, but that 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 that's not the desperate consequence. That's just the risky consequence. I feel like the desperateness here des might be ticking that clock more. Like, like you set up that clock, it feels reasonable to start it quickly. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a little too far to do this. Uh, I mean, one thing could just be they're straight up gonna try to fucking. They're just gonna backlash and sink the boat because yeah, like that. yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, because okay. then, no. then no. yeah. Cool. So, sway, desperate, standard, two bonus dice. So, so, so the the consequences. Um, so if you succeed, they'll let you go by, but the consequences are kind of flip and tear the boat to splinters once you pass them. Yep. So unless you fail, they won't engage you. Cool. Oh my that's god. That's not a six, oh, Thomas. That's not a six. But, you know, you succeeded, and I'm um, assuming you don't forget to mark the XP. I, Yeah. I mark the XP. Don't worry, I'm always marking that XP. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. Just to be clear, they um, 
yeah, you go past and they flick uh, the Everest and and the um. Mm -hmm. It's not that the boats are torn, so matches parts of the boats phase <laughs> shift and are not in the same reality as other parts of the boat. <laughs> Which is not great considering the reality the water is in does not change. Hmm. Can I resist that? Awesome. How? Um like so they they like when you say they flick like it's like a flick of the hand kind of thing yeah so presumably like there's some sort of like that sends some sort of energy like like ghost field energy at the boat is it possible for me to like try to like uh i like you know do my attuny thing and try to grab that energy and like deflect it I feel like if you do that, it'll, it has a built-in devil's bagger. It's a built-in devil's bagger oh that, that you can. Uh, and the built-in the... devil's but well, because you're deflecting it, right? Uh -huh. uh, so that, that's another piece of the pie. That sure. that would further unhinge you. I, I'm, I'm totally fine with that, yeah. Awesome. Cool. And so I'll roll resolve to resist it. Nice. Um, I get the bonus die from Forge in the Fire, but I lose one from Jackson, so no bonus dice. And you get another bonus die from the Devil's Bargain. Oh yeah, you're right. Okay, cool. I'll roll that one to see if it's a six. Oh, it is a it six! Is. There's your sixes! And so, yeah, and that's part of it, it's like, I let myself become more unstable in order, and it, so I don't take the stress, but like, my soul so, is torn slightly from my so, so, so I, I, I'm going to say that you go and kind of deflect it, and the, the um, mark on your hand kind of glows, and you notice that it's kind of grown. It's no longer a mark on your hand. It's like, um, it, it's white, and it's got a silvery shine slash glow to it, and it's now like vines, and they're going up your arm, like your elbow. Oh man, cool. That's awesome. And and if any of you guys focus on it, it's it's re it's like one of those magic eye things, and it's, it gives you kind of gives you a headache because it's really hard to make out the detail. And and it's you know one of those magic eye things where you look at it and and there's lots of parallel lines, and the lines look like they're getting bigger and smaller, but they're not. They're just standard and it just does your head in mm -hmm. that's what these look like here it's like they're, they're kind of almost fuzzy uh, magic eye things if you stare at them too much they just make your eyes hurt yeah so yeah yeah i was gonna ask like is it a thing where like when emmeline does this like your eyes kind of hurt looking at her because all of a sudden she is also like not as tall as she used to be and not quite as short as she used to be and you're like, what the? And you, you know, you kind of have to like rub your eyes, and you know, That's then perfect. she's back to normal. And I yeah. think like as we pass, and and like, it's just this like super brief moment, right? Like she waves, we pass. They, there's a flick, and then she kind of like flicks as well. And and yeah, then your eyes hurt. Uh, she just kind of well, like. There's more to it than that. So okay. so they're passing and they flick and your eyes hurt and all rest. But here's what you guys realize. She did she did the sign to them when they were two hundred meters away. They flicked that far away. And now they're two hundred meters behind you. <laughs> well, that's not weird. Now, now you're convinced that you must have traveled there and the flick must have happened when you passed them. The problem is you have no memory of any of the stuff leading up or any of the stuff going by and, and although it seemed really close when they flicked, it felt like they were still 200 meters away. So, that's a thing. And so, like, as the two of you are, like, confused about that, Emmeline just kind of looks and, like, smiles and she's like, we cool. <laughs> I mean, for you, Emmeline, for your experience, you traveled the entire 400 meters and they flicked yeah. when you're going by 
You deflect it. <laughs> you continue going. It. You, you don't notice this. Yeah. All you notice is that they're kind of they're moving and fidgeting, but, but yeah, Emmeline's like, Emmeline's probably like confused. She's like, "What's wrong with you guys? Get your shit together." <laughs> yeah, she she feels like super self self satisfied, and is like, "Yeah, that was that was no big deal." <laughs> uh, and and she and she's kind of like like thank you very much, like kind of thing like she awesome shit. sweet so 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 you guys um arrive to silver nails um things are in complete bedlam um you you notice um so you arrived at one of these stations and they're working on getting the lightning barrier up uh you see Going through the ground, uh, are kind of like where the sand is. The sand has like like there's a disturbance underneath, so you can see like the sand being disturbed, uh, in these strange swirling patterns. Uh, there there are a lot of screaming. What one of the silver nails has lost his leg and it's gushing blood onto the ground and he's screaming. Well, and no one's staying near him and isn't helping. He's just stabbing wildly into the sand. Oh, and there's a pile of spirit killing spears uh, and the nails kind of set up uh, like a de facto armory. Um, the area you guys are in has rudimentary things to keep the melasma out. Um, so it's not as thick, but there is still, you know, Hazy. What, uh... So, the deal with the thespians slash rovers are... We have to reacquire their asset until the clocks are done, right? Like, if they came right, along? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, exactly. Do you guys want to have them? Or just our crew? Yep. I think um, just our crew. I think it's fine to just have our, our guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Didn't do so well on the... <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Um... Then, let's see... We don't see anything attacking anyone right now. We just see swirls in the sand and bedlam. Yeah. That's that's exactly it. Uh then Alakai's probably gonna command like a couple of the newer people that have expanded the group of the thugs since we're tier one now. We have a couple more. Uh yeah. Just a couple of those people and be like, and point at like the dude with the severed leg and like anyone else that's like wounded and doesn't seem like they can get away. And he's like, get them out, get them to safety, pull them back behind lines, find someone that can take care of them. So that sounds like a command roll, uh, in a group roll where you roll for the thugs. Sure. Uh, Blood Brothers to give you um, <clears throat> plus one. Right. Uh... You're elite folks, which is your number one. Yeah, it'll it'll um, account for elite automatically. Um, b b b b sorry, what's that? Is I always forget what that shit gives me. Um, that gives me extra dice, right, or something? They get the you... they get the the extra dice. Okay. Um, what's my position in effect here? Uh, it's still desperate. And okay. And you're a bit, um, you're trying to get the injured and stuff to safety? Yeah. Um, but I would, I'd say it's great. I also have a leader, which, uh, when I command a cohort in combat, I don't know if this counts, like, because I'm not commanding them to fight, but they are in combat, I guess. Like, it's a combat situation. 
I feel if blood like blood blood brothers also specifies combat, so I think if one applies, both do sort of. This is definitely a combat situation. Okay, so that's actually so it'll be extreme effect then. Okay, but I mean, I don't know what I can give you. More than <laughs> no, I'm I'm just. <laughs> I mean, they get them out really well, and maybe they bandage up the guys themselves or something. Like I don't know, yeah, like I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you that. Something like that. I don't know. You can. Um, I'm not worried about it. I'm just into, into a defensible position kind of thing. Yeah, maybe something like that, um, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not cool on that, and the reason I'm not cool on that is the desperate consequences. You're so focused on getting people saved because you don't see any threat that you are defenseless from the threat and, and vulnerable when these things just strike while you're doing it. And, and they would just tear through your crew because your crew are just un, completely unprepared for right. What happened? Um. Well, what if what if we mitigate that a little bit? And we say that's still like harm is still on the table, but because of the effect. Well, no, I no, because I'm saying I'm I'm talking I'm off. What I'm offering is is since it would be extreme effect, the consequences is harm is still on the table, but it's a lesser degree of harm, and we add the lesser effect as a consequence of failure. So, right. So. so Here's the thing, that sounds like dropping it from desperate to risky. No, because I'm not, I, I'm just offering an alternative consequence, like, like, yeah, I mean. Reduced effect is always on the table as a. As yeah, as, as a consequence, right? Like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying from like, you know, I'm not saying from fatal to minor harm or whatever. I'm just talking about from like fatal to severe and then. Also, like, yeah, they can't get them to safety. But that way, if it's if it's a full success, there's still some benefit for it so being extreme effect. Is if you fail, instead of it will wipe out all of them, it'll wipe out all but two <laughs> of your game. Yeah, I mean, some armor too. Remember? Yeah, yeah. That, but I'm like. Ignoring armor and resistances and just talking about consequences and stuff like that. Like, because there's... Like, obviously, like, I'm just making sure we're specifying, like, extreme effect and great effect for the sake of bookkeeping purposes and making sure we're doing it right. Because I'm with you, Luke. I don't have a great idea of what the extreme effect for that would be. But there should be some effect. Like... Well, well, yeah, and that's why I'm saying the way you normally do that is is you lower, you improve the position. Right, but I don't have to improve the position because I already have like I already have the effect I want without that, just based off abilities and stuff. Well, well the improve the position is actually right. No, yeah, I, I get what you're saying. Actually, um, yeah. no, nah, I'll, I'll keep I'll keep you the, want the XP, but yeah. It sounds like you're lowering. You're improving the position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... But, but improved position is not what the text of the ability is. The ability is you get plus one effect. Right. Yeah. But but you can, and this is a meta, you can, outside of that, push, usually you push away to Okay, I, uh, he's he's uh, yeah he's at he's offering me to lower from extreme to great to push up my position like instead of the other way we normally do it um yeah, yeah. um yeah, because that's what you're describing sounds like risky position where it's it could have lesser effect or and, and do le and or do lower harm which is risky like they're the options you have on risky is either it does lesser effect or a low level of harm. What? How about this? Why don't we make the roll and at at desperate extreme effect? And if we need consequences, we can talk about that. But we might like you might get a six. It might not matter. Correct. Especially considering 
you are rolling your command and they have three dice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's a lot of dice. And yep. do you have um, Daredevil? I do have Daredevil. Thank you yeah, for so reminding me. You have a die. <laughs> yep. So that's a lot of die. I didn't get the six. Uh, are you rolling for them, or do you want me to? Um, I can roll for them, I guess. Okay. I don't have to put in... I, I just put in one for the... Uh, I just put in one for Blood Brothers, right? That's all I put in? Yeah, put, put in one for Blood Brothers, yep. Okay. Where's my fucking one? No go. There we go. There we go. Hey! There we go. Cool. So yeah, I think I think you get what you want uh, of all of it because you got a sex. I think you do. You, they rush out there. They they get the wounded. They kind of bring them into the area which is more shielded underneath the tower from asthma and kind of set up a defensive perimeter underneath the lightning tower looking after the image and set up like a, a base camp of security. Cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. What... Oh, don't forget XP. Yeah, I got it. Thank okay. you, though. And so what's the... The there's still people attacking, um, or there's still, still like the the monsters basically. Yeah, the still silver nail. I mean, the, the, these guys just got the wounded out. There's still silver mm -hmm. nails doing the sand, they're still swirling stuff, and that um, their cohort managed to avoid the locations and piece people out. Um, whatever's in there hasn't been lured out. Um, okay. Uh, was there something? Um, did you have something in mind you wanted to do, Matt? Or, oh, do you want to just make fun of all the idiots no. stabbing the ground? <laughs> <laughs> so, there aren't any that are like up and about, right? Any, any of these things that are up above the ground right there now. There are no like, visible enemies. We just see a bunch of panic silver nails stabbing the ground. Basically. By the way, um, this I, I got what this was like based on how previous crews have reacted after they've engaged these things. So, <laughs> it's a completely <laughs> rational way to die in this situation. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't have anything terribly specific. So yeah, Emily is just going to look over at Alakai and ask, "Orders, sir." I mean, are any of you going to grab the spirit spirit killing spears? Oh, were there were those? There's just like crates of yeah. them, like oh, you know. Yeah, yeah and for sure. Oh. It's it's like a video game. You pull up at a dock, and the special item you need is in a <laughs> box right there by the dock. Yeah. I was just gonna su suggest that we like make contact, that we go up to the yeah. the embattled silver nails and be like, "What's up? Yeah. What do you? We got a message." I'm, like, I mean, that would be poking the spears because there's, there's a quartermaster there. There's, there's dead lumber. Yeah, yeah. So that's what that's um, what Emmeline will do if nobody else reacts. She'll she'll go up and and make contact and say like, "We we got a message. We came as soon as we could. Uh, what's going on? What do you need help with?" Um, so, yeah, there's a grizzled quartermaster and he's like, they're heading all up and down the line. They came out of nowhere. They, 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 things. It's like, they, they're most vulnerable when they're lowered above, but they, they, they very rarely do that. Um, we need to pin them and, 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 and burn them out somehow. Um, and he kind of hands you guys the spears, and it's like, this will stun them long enough to get the nails in. So he, he, he kind of hands you guys spears, but one of you, he gives like a pile of nails and a, and a big mallet. 
Which of us has taken the piles of pile of nails and the mallet? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have ghost bullets. I'm fine. Like I have, I have, you know, electroplastic make ammunition. So I'm not gonna grab them. I guess, like. After people have been drugged back or whatever, Alakai probably, like, tells the thugs and everything to grab spears. Because that seems like the most useful thing at the time. Um, uh, okay, if, if Amelie doesn't reach for them, then, then Emily will take them. Yeah, Amelie is going for the spear. Okay. <laughs> she takes one more and like, what are we supposed to do with these? Uh... Yeah, so Emmeline will take the the mallet and the nails then. Okay, so so Emmeline um, mark on that, and it's saying you can hold. Um, note uh, that you have uh, it's it's a heavy um, um spirit fling war mallet i'm trying to find the right image for it like geographically what does it look because this is out there where they're trying to build the fence right well, posted what it looks like um it, it looks the, the you can see the ruins in the distance of the lost district um there are black sand dunes in the distance, beyond black sand dunes. There's a big tower which looks kind of like a um, a cell phone tower going up with sparks flying on it and workmen working on it, uh, which is the lightning barrier tower. Uh, right. And and underneath it in the middle frame is where your folks have sent up a defensive perimeter. Um, the ground is kind of black sand um and and kind of shifting um and there is like a purple miasma in the air of course yeah so i seen a thing about what the mallet looks like um yeah. it also damages spirit it also that it is a great one uh added as a as a weapon yeah, well, because you, you will have this moving forward. It's a thing that you now own. Okay, cool. That's why I was trying to find out who was taking it, because it's... Um... Uh, so... Spirit. Emmeline's one... first vampire war hammer. <laughs> well, I mean, you need the hammers as well, but yeah. Cool. Um, I mean, it kills vampires, but it will do the job for most things. Mm -hmm. It's multi-purpose. <laughs> so the guy said he wanted us to, like, we want to get them out of the ground and then, like, Is get it... out of the ground and then, then yeah. attack? Yeah, that's yeah. the most effective way. So can I tell from this, or let me know if I need to make a roll, like... Is there a way to get ourselves off the ground in, like, a sturdy enough structure or even, like, large-scale, like, rocks or something that don't look like they would be as easy to come up through as the sand? Or, like, you know, no, how does that look? Sorry. I made a fortune roll for you. Yeah. No. It's okay. Just, it's just sand. I mean, the lightning barrier itself, Right into the sand, and there's obviously anchored something deep within the sand. Right. Uh, it's just sand. I mean, the problem is the Deathlands break down most things. To the yeah. Dust. Definitely anything life, but 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 they also kind of eat away at stone and rock work. Yeah, that's totally fair. And I mean, like, I wasn't expecting a lot, anyways, because I figured like. Best case scenario, it was probably going to be like a tremor situation where it's like, yeah, they have some ramshackle shacks set up, and then the vampires will just fuck those up. So, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Um, 
And how are our outfits doing? How how are our, how's our gear taking the Deathlands so far? I mean, nothing's happened. It's tier one gear, so it, it, it it's good so enough. No carriage, nothing. Yeah, it's not tier zero. Tier would have started just falling apart, but it's nothing setting it off. And it's worth noting that the work they've done in the lightning barrier here and the generators they do, the miasma isn't driven away here, but it's definitely thinner. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's less impacted. Um, so should we try to do like a group? Should, should one or multiple, multiple of us try to do some action to like draw the vampires out? Rather than draw them out, why don't we try and figure out if we can't see where they're at? It's like a hunt action, try to see if you can't spot well, them well, moving I mean, around a little bit. Based so, on the no. so you can see the sand being stirred. Based right. on the very realistic assumption that whatever is disturbing the sand is them, is a fairly good indication. Okay, it's are. not just wind then. No, 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 no. It, it's not wind. It's very mm. definite. It's very, very. It's as if something is like. like think of like a whirlpool, a whirlpool, but sand, right? Yeah, my assumption yeah. was that they're underground. Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you see someone yeah. swimming yeah. underwater and they yeah. disturb the water above them, it's clearly not the wind. The water's been disturbed. Well, it's yeah. like that, but with sand. Yeah. Like I said, like my go to okay. touchstone for this is tremors. Right, like it's a really good yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah. Um, if yeah, instead so, of grips, these are vicious vampires. Presumably, we haven't seen them yet. Right. <laughs> well, what if it's vampire worms? Is what they are. <gasps> what if it's for the leg of that person wasn't fair? Yeah. Um, I I kind of say? I kind of like the idea of like. Yeah, we need to draw them out, and then the rest of us will ambush that one when it comes out, right? Like, so, so I think Emmeline will turn to, um, Amelie's then, and be like, "Come with me," and like, we're the two of us are gonna like run out and try to engage them to get them to pop out, at, like, and then you guys are gonna like. Yeah. Electroplastic ammo, shoot them, and like chuck spears at them and stuff. Yeah. You had a you had a nickname, didn't you? You were using her last name last time. Oh yeah, Jeanette. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true too. Like that, that, there is a good contrast there. Um. So does no? What, what was you were saying again? Like the, I, I'm like, come with me, and like yeah. we're gonna go run out over to where the, the sand is being stirred up, um, hoping to get them to like come out and grab us or try to grab us. And then the rest of the, like the Silver Nails and, and Alakai and our gang will shoot them and chuck their spears at them and yeah. stuff and try to get well, them. Well, I mean, it, will your gang, so that, that's an important question because the way we established before is they send up a safe area at the base. Will they leave the wounded there and leave that safe area? I mean, if I command them to, they might. <laughs> no, no, they will. I'm asking yeah. you if that's what you want them to do. Probably. Okay. Um, so, Matthew, does is does Amelise agree to that? Or she... <laughs> How do you feel uh, about yeah, being yeah, baked? <laughs> Are you insane? Um, and Emmeline just like nods at you and says, "Some say so," and then she goes and like runs out. Okay, hey, so this sounds like a group action. <laughs> well, it's yeah. I don't know if it, is so well, so Alakai, Alakai, like. I I I want a moment. Action with the dimmer sisters a little earlier. Amelie will Amelie will kind of roll over for a moment, and it's, uh, they sort of figure uh, she might know what she's doing with these things. 
Because there was something clearly very weird going back on a few minutes ago, so... Yeah, and, like, Alakai probably, like, steps up into the frame of the picture as Emmeline runs out and, like, sees Amelie's, like, hesitating. And she's like, it's the right plan. It's like, but she'll need somebody to watch her back that knows what she's doing. Like, you go out there and make sure she gets back. I'll make sure you both get back. <laughs> Where's you the boss? <laughs> So you said you said desperate. Yeah. So is this a setup action for what the other guys are doing, or are they yeah. also running rolling combat? And is this one big combat? Uh, my, I think setup action makes setup. sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, what what is it we're rolling here? We was like, is it skirmish or prowl? Or it feels like skirmish or prowl to me. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can see Megan on most things. Skirmish, prowl, hunt. It can also be I sway, because you're trying to, like, grab attention and stuff like that, too. I yeah, think prowl... Like, when you actually talk to someone, I mean... Yeah, I, I'm going to be using the gambit, but I, in my mind, it's skirmish. Like, we're trying to engage a fight. Um, right. But I do just want to say, sway is like, it just says sway someone with charm, logic, deception, disguise, or bluff. And this is a deception, like, you're trying to, you know, but, but yeah, no, it, it's it's probably not the best skill for it, yeah. Yeah. Well, my logic behind, I, I like skirmish, I got more points in skirmish, but my logic behind Prowl is like, we're trying to avoid getting hit by these I mean, things at the it, same time. Yeah, I mean, actually, I can see that, especially with Emily, uh, Emily. That if she's kind of, oh, I'm vulnerable and acting it up, <laughs> yeah, that is absolutely sweet. That's fair, okay. Uh, you can do the I, fake, I, like, I you can do the fake twisted ankle, for, like, Scarlett O'Hara flop, well, and, like. <laughs> well, here's the thing you're not trying to hurt them. Yeah. You're trying to make them do something. Okay. My and that's why. My question is. Can you sway non sentient beings? Because there's a whole bunch of assumptions in there that I'd need to unpack. But okay. yes. I mean, you sway, I mean, sway just yeah, says. Exactly. Was, that was the example I was going to do. You can convince a dog to let you in a place. That's yeah, swaying sure. a dog. That's what I'm saying. It, it just says change attitudes or behavior with manipulation. Like. It's you're and, just changing their behavior, right? Like they're acting them, one way. You're manipulating them to show themselves. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I fine mean, with doing the, sway there. The important uh, thing is that 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 wouldn't actually be damaging them. It would just be making them do what you want to do. So yeah. yeah. That yeah, I'm convinced. It sounds like it, you wouldn't even need Rook's Gambit because you you're straight up swaying them. Okay. So and so is Amelie doing the same thing? Go. Ahead. She doesn't have to. I don't have to, that's true. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And keep in mind, you're in control and you're acting it up. She's like, this is a stupid idea. And everyone's like, you should go with her. And she's like... <laughs> so I don't think she's acting. Okay, here's, yeah, here's a thought. Yeah, she's doing that. I will be waiting out there, but I'm going to be sort of doing what uh, Alakai was doing back when I challenged him. Sort of waiting for that moment to... So wait yeah. for something to jump out and then you know, strike defensively. So I'm yeah. thinking it's going to be like a hunt. Yeah, you're, you're standing there with a spear going, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> I'm going to get eaten. I'm going to fight for my life while I'm out there. <laughs> okay. Exactly, exactly. So, it, uh, so it's not a group action then? I'll just roll this way. No, it's a group action. You can do different things in a group action. Oh, well, you can. Well, but I don't sounds... know if it's good and the rules is written, but I've seen it done on the stream, so that's what yeah, I'm basically doing. But it sounds more like like Amelise's action is dependent on the result of mine, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, it's like a multi setup thing. She's setting up for my action when my action is setting up for everyone else. It actually sounds like your action is setting up for hers and that you're ending. I don't that's why I want a group action, because it sounds like you're defending her while she's doing it. Okay, yeah, I see what you're going. So it might be straight up but... help. But no, but oh yeah, help! My, but but what Matt said was he's waiting for something to pop up. Oh, is... okay. I I mean I think I 
here, here's what I would propose. Like, Amelie, or Emmeline's doing the setup action, and Amelie's can just be part of our attacking group action, but yeah. fictionally, she's in a position to help Emmeline. Like, fictionally, she's in a different spot, right? So, like, depending on the consequences of the roles and stuff like that, she may either be in a worse position to help or a better position to help, right? Like, does that sound fair? That makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so the obvious downside, um, the obvious risk here, of course, is you get you succeed too well and they tear you to shreds. Mm -hmm. Non-obvious one with consequence, which would also happen, is um, basically. I want to put another piece of pie on that um, unhinged dimension. <laughs> okay. So is, that, hmm? is Sorry, that a consequence or is that a devil's bargain? It could be. It's, <laughs> if it's not a devil's bargain, it's a consequence. <laughs> you can take it. You can take it as a devil's bargain, or I. Or, and if you, and then it wouldn't no longer be a consequence, obviously, because it happens. Actually, no, it would still be a consequence. <laughs> yeah, you can double <laughs> down. <laughs> But you can take it as a devil's bargain as well. Uh, I'll take the devil's bargain, yeah. Awesome. You're going to uh, make me actually roll on this thing later to figure out what it actually is. I'm so <laughs> uh, Yeah. My, my plan actually is to keep it like at five for a, for a, a little while. I, I want to I get a build up. Good <laughs> plan. Uh, and you said it's desperate? Um, yes. And then I guess it's a setup action, so it's just the effect will help theirs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's a setup so I'll, action. I'll, I'll just call it standard. Um, cool. I get my daredevil die and my devil's bargain die. Five dice again. Sway, don't fail me now. Like yeah, there you go. Yay. Right, really? right in the middle. You do not get torn limb from limb, uh, but it's a close thing. So you're like, um, <laughs> like doing uh, Trinity from Matrix or whatever, because these things you, you're expecting them to kind of emerge from the sand. That's mm -hmm. not how these things roll. These things, flying fish, leap out of the sand, clawing and biting. And you dodge as they leap back into the sand and out again as a flying fish jumping through the air. Nice. So these things, uh, so they're out probably for like 20 seconds of airtime and back in the sand, and they're leaping around you. So the crew have an opportunity to do something, but that's all they have. These things obviously don't spend much time out of the sand. They swim through it and jump out of it and now you more understand why the guys are stabbing in the sand because you know it's they, terrifying yeah. when they die right uh, which uh, means that um i would actually like emmeline to roll separately than the rest because emmeline is in a great effect zone everyone you and amelise amelise yeah, yeah Amelis okay is in a standard so she is positioned to have a greater impact because she can like skewer these things. Damn shame she I got that horn. <laughs> hmm? He's got damn shame I got that harm. It's still a both for insight and resolve. All that means is that you just need to uh push yourself to ignore it. Whatever. Yeah. Mm. Is it for prowess as well? No, just insight and resolve. Yeah, well, this the prowess roll, so oh, yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, you're going to be stabbing people. You, you, you're not resolving them to death. You could, I mean. <laughs> well, no, I, I, thought, I, I, I thought I was doing what I was saying earlier with the hunting thing, but no, I think skirmish Oh, yeah. Good. Well, hunting's insight. Well, I, hunting's insight, anyways. No, yeah, yeah. For, it was for both insight and Oh, resolve. okay. Yeah, but it doesn't feel like your face not being pretty would apply to hunt, really. <laughs> I think it was a bit of brain damage up there too, maybe. <laughs> um, it, it's the experience, pain, and all the rest. 
Okay. Um, so, 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 it's worth noting that yeah, the, there were two sides of it. There was uh, not being pretty, which affects sway and consort, but there was also just uncomfortableness of it. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, Hans. Uh, uh, so, 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 so I'm taking it you using this, the, this spirit killing spear then if you're using Hunt? Yeah, exactly. Because the mallet is not a Hunt. It's not oh, taking yeah, no. you to Hunt. No, no, yeah, no. I, I've got the mallet anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought she did. Okay. Uh, desperate position or. Desperate position, right? Yeah. And standard effects. No, uh, yeah, because uh, are you doing hand? Yes. Yeah. Um. Now. Yeah. Oh. Wait, Why do I yeah. suck? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you had a good run. I had a very yeah. good. You got so many harm slots. You got so many harm slots. <laughs> it's perfect. So, 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 and, and I mean, yeah, well, yes, but, um, basically, the, the result of this is one of them is leaping out and just takes off your arm at the shoulder, making you drop the spear, and another one leaps and takes out your head. Another one just drags your corpse underneath. It's good. Now these aren't three different things to resist. It's just one. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a browse resistance. But 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 and it isn't a reduced harm because there's no armor lowering type thing here. Yeah. <laughs> this is an all or nothing one. Just hear you limb from limb. It's no oh I take mild decapitation. <laughs> <laughs> merely headless? How can you be merely headless? My favorite thing is actually on a show they were talking about the rapier of decapitation. And it's just like, how does that even work? Hey, and that's yeah. plus one for Forge in the Fire. Nice, two stress. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I think Emily's is just completely, and th th this goes back to this whole power struggle. She's completely unprepared for what happens. This isn't really her turf, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> she's well, a city I'm, girl. I, I'm pretty sure no one was prepared for what actually happened. Like, you guys were all expecting them to kind of materialize and be in any way human-like vampires i mean the the human like like they've got humanoid bodies but they don't act like humans they act like sharks and they right. start jumping they managed to somehow like like do some fine footwork and dodge their their attack right yeah. that's it yeah yeah but yeah so you've got your crew and you <laughs> Severosi boys had the right idea. <laughs> yeah. All right. And um. We're gonna make fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, the rest of us will uh, spring our trap, I guess, or at the very least, I will spring my trap and fucking start shooting at them. So are you? Are you? Are you? Leading your thugs, or are you just doing it on your own? So, here's a question. Um, like, fictionally, are the thugs in a position to be able to run in and physically skirmish, or do they need to be out here shooting too? I mean, we, we left it ambiguous before, so I'm willing to say that, that they would have been running in because we kind of left it open to okay. a months later. Okay. Um, they, they, they're in a position to have the spirit fling spears, which will make them more effective. Right. 
Okay. The, the reason why it's important is you won't have scale against them if you're on your own. Right. Yeah. Are the are the rest of the silver nails also firing on them? Busy. They're busy stabbing the ground. <laughs> oh, they're still stabbing the ground. Okay. And, and doing similar things to what you're doing. <laughs> and repairing and fixing the lightning barrier. Yeah. Okay. And beating out. <laughs> Only a few. All right. Yeah, I'll lead a group action on this one. Um. Uh, so I'm gonna use hunt because hunt, it's good. Uh, what's my position? Uh, desperate still. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say great effect. Okay. Oh. And I'm using my electroplasmic ammunition. Um, and remember, that's before including your. Um, you've had a successful set effect. Right. <laughs> So the greater feat about it. Okay, well, so it's... It feels extra. like the, the setup action was kind of just to give them any effect at all. Here. Yeah, it kind of it kind of put us in the narrative position to be able to do it, right? Yeah. Um, that reminds me, we have two different clocks, and the three, three you go in is up to you. But you have an 8 clock, which is drive off the sand vampires, and you have a 12 clock, which is kill some of the sand vampires. Okay. Uh, and and so, once you've rolled, you can tell me which clock you are filling in because they're okay. different clocks. Do you want to kill any of them, or you just want to drive them off? Right. Um. So let's see. They somebody can handle rolling for them. Um, I'll roll for them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I get an extra die from ambush, uh, yep. so that's cool for me. And they get an extra die from Blood Brothers. They they also get increased effect from my leader skill, mm -hmm. um, which I don't think you can mark that anywhere on their shit on their roll. No. I don't think it asks. We gotta keep yeah. in mind. Um, and I get another dice from Daredevil. I mean, it's worth noting that these things are like tier three, so so that kind of fades right. into mm -hmm. right. Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <Just demolished them. laughs> that's the that's Satan's crit. He blessed that's like me. Two crits over <laughs> Yeah, if we had synchronized, that would be a double crit. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like, like, they, they're, like, this is actually great for a team dynamics and crap, but I feel like, you know, Emmeline's, they're jumping out and lashing and kind of freaking out, and, and you just hold as John Wick style, uh, headshot them one after the other with them just dropping. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, 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 and the bugs the kind of running and kind of stabbing down what's there. Specifically, like, Alakai is targeting all of the ones that go after Amelie's, and he's waiting unnecessarily long for them to get close to her and then popping yeah. them in the head. <laughs> because they, they, they don't emerge from the sand until they yeah. But, I mean, even if he did, he would still be waiting, just to scare yeah. her. Um, so, so, I'm going to say that, that there are, like, four of the corpses, but, but <laughs> I mean, with that roll, uh, I'm going to say that, that you guys managed to drive off and help secure the lightning barrier. Um, can I, can I... That, that, hmm? I was going to say, like, can I just put that all into the kill them clock, and, like, knock that as like not oh, maybe not all I, the way I, out I, 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 okay um i i'm saying that, okay that i i just have to reward those four sixes and, <laughs> and drive off the rest of them like no clocks necessary yeah because you got three sixes and the cohort got one i mean that just feels like <laughs> yeah. told Synchronize be damn. We did this. <laughs> and the yeah, I, yeah that's what I feel, like. I feel like this is the impressive thing where 
This is kind of a moment of pure badassery of just yeah. It's almost like this is what we're supposed to be good at, right? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I think it's a good juxtaposition where you have the newbie who's trying to to uh, your way in and thinks, "I'll oh, beat these hicks and I can take over." Kind of overwhelmed, and you guys just cold-bloodedly just <laughs> murderize. <everybody laughs> I also and drive just, them off. I love that, like in the in the TV show, like I love the image of like. Emmeline goes out and like makes the distraction. They jump up. They see Amelie's go after her. She's overwhelmed, <laughs> but just manages to dodge them. And as they're about to like grab her, it's just like boom, boom, and they just drop. Like it's great. Yeah. And so, like the thugs like synchronize a lot with the spears and just tearing down what's left and driving off. And and I think that's the time where you hear the crack and the hum. And and the lightning barrier kicks in, kind of blasting back the remaining ones, and and, and, and like like it's a loud hum that you can hear, hear in your teeth, um, of the lightning barrier as it kind of it has been finally because it's been clearing, and I, and I think it's also like a desperate thing where like there's one guy like one scorched skeleton of a guy who didn't get off in time <laughs> while they were getting it ready and he just get, got fried by this <laughs> they'll probably name this tower after him later because of his sacrifice <laughs> but, but, but I feel like the, bones. <laughs> yeah, I feel like this role in the TV series is like the climactic where the hell did that come through <laughs> moment because yeah, yeah i have to reward that role that's an insane role yeah <laughs> that's great i also just like it because it's like orderly i got fours on both ends i, I was about to <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. i just like shit like that <laughs> so, so yeah is that the score <laughs> that's the score. so like just for the flavor's sake or whatever like Alakai definitely, like, tries to lead, like, a charge of driving them out, you know? And, like, once they're out, like, on the other side of the barrier or whatever, he's gonna stop and, like, look and ask for whoever's in charge, you know? Like, who's the Silver Nails, like, field commander here right now or whatever? Yeah. And just ask and be like, do we need to hunt them down and finish them? Or, you know, he how do you want... No, no more than we need to chase down any other monsters on the other side of the lightning barrier anywhere else. He, he kind of packs the, the, the um, frame, which is massively corroded from when it had given out, and it kind of groans. He's like, this is sturdy and it'll keep us safe, and it kind of has that fatigued metal groaning sound to yeah. it. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it will not be sturdy or keep anyone safe, right? <laughs> so the lightning barrier like how does that look we've never talked about that in this game like so so, so the way it looks is there, there are pylons probably every right um but i mean are, is it are we talking like a clean ish kind of like force field wall or are we talking about like no. jumps and cracks of wild lightning and stuff like that you're talking about the second one okay that's like yeah I like because it's called the lightning barrier because right in like massive tesla pylons right that have lightning jumping between them right so then alakai is gonna be like alakai is gonna kind of like I guess grab somebody's spear or something that's laying nearby and he's like points to the ground and he's like they swim underneath it he's like you're gonna need something to stop them from just coming up underneath it in the future it, he's, it, so, someone grins and points to the fact that the lightning barrier disappears under the pylon disappears under the sand okay yeah and he's like don't worry these things go down to the rock. It's like, just think. 
the same barrier exists to keep you safe from these things in uh, Night Market and Six Towers, and you've never had to worry about them then, in a way which makes you suddenly start to worry about them in Six Towers. Well, no, no, Alakai just that Alakai like drops the the spear or whatever, and he's like, wasn't worried about them now, not worried about them in there, and just like turns around because he doesn't give a shit about these things. <laughs> That's for scaredy cat city people. <laughs> Like, he's traversed the Deathlands before, somehow. Oh, yeah. I don't fucking know how in the world he survived that, but somehow he did. Apparently by rolling a lot of sixes. Yeah, well, that's what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> yep. We did the very last my... moment, and then all sixes. Yeah. There's a cute thing my wife showed me, well, uh, a cat in a DM, and it's like, you come across at the basilisk, what do you do? And the cat goes, I poop it on the nose. And it's like, okay, <laughs> and rolls 20. In the next video, and it's up an actual cat hitting a crocodile on its nose, and the crocodile just going, I'm out of here. <laughs> I like it. And then, yeah, I guess, like, at some point, like, when he's walking back, like, Alakai will walk past Amelise and he'll be like, good job. He's like, told you you'd get back all right. Yeah, but I doubt the queue for a moment. <laughs> and he's like, and he stops and he turns to her and he's like, I appreciate you looking out for her. She likes to rush into things she can't necessarily handle. And we look and we look after each other. And like he's very clearly like pointing at Emmeline, who I don't even know what she's doing no, at no, this no, point. No, yeah, like like Yeah, she's like posing over fucking vampire corpses or something. Like I don't even know what Emmeline is doing. <laughs> I think she's just like she's walked back over and um is kind of just like strutting, strutting around, like watching the other silver nails like get back to work and like animal, like maybe she's like studying them to be like, how does a, how do they act like? <laughs> right, paying attention to their right. Brain? She's doing future role research. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, Alakai is like, she needs people to watch her back. She has good ideas, and she's and. He kind of debates, and he's like, brave. <laughs> brave. But we work together. We keep each other safe. You did well. And, like, just turns around and, like, leaves her. <laughs> we all have our moments. <laughs> and, yeah, I think that's all I got. Yeah, just, Emily just keeps smiling. Like, I guess that she puts the fear back or something. Yeah. Okay. So, in terms of payout, um, first thing first, because of what this is and all the rest, there'd be no heat, but you have um, blue tart and fair, uh, accommodation, and I feel like that Kind of still feeds in, so that gives you negative two heat. Okay. All right. I marked um, that, Thomas. And and we actually would at at least by default gain at least one heat, uh, because we're at war, right? Yeah. Okay. Do we get so, one heat per war faction, or just total? No, it's just total. Okay. Yeah, none of the war stuff stacks like. So it's actually optimal to go to war yeah, with as yeah. many people as you need to at once. Like I'm out of the re optimal re <laughs> is yeah. because like with us, the Grey Cloaks have an alliance with the Sons of the Fallen, which means that that as a result, Sons of the Fallen are likely to also go to war with you because they've got an alliance and yeah. it's very mm -hmm. easy if you're at war with one faction to quickly be at war with a lot of factions. Yeah. yeah, and and then have them all gunning for you. Yep. Is there anyone the Great Oaks aren't allied with? 
the blue coats yeah. who they wiped the fuck out. Like, you know, you're not aligned with them. You're not aligned with the Leviathan Hunters. You're not aligned with the City Council. Yeah. You're not aligned with the Grinders. You're not aligned with. I mean, I mean, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, how much rep do we get for that? Um, so. Those things were tier three. Right. Um, so that means you four. Cool. Five rep then. Um, or sorry, rep? four four rep. Four rep because we're tier yeah. we're, 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 yeah, we're tier one now. Oh, yeah, we had up. Uh, and how much did we get any coin for that? Did the did the uh, <laughs> did the silver nails pay us? So um the you were largely paid in terms of um yeah can we be paid in spears and mystic and uh but, 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 I, but i feel like um i'm just gonna do i feel like you also oh uh so they just brought back the lost district and so kind i i think they point to one of the big manners and say, they take you, take whatever you want from in there, and there's like three coin versus worth of loot in the manor that mm -hmm. you manage to strip from the walls and stuff. Cool. Um, so, they, they don't really pay you per se so much as give you looting rights on a place to get three coin. And um, what and did... Give you purposes, yeah. Uh, I would mark the access to the spirit uh, during spears uh, and in, in your claims as a claim. That's how I've done it in the past. So we have like regular access to it or whatever? Is that is yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. So basically just probably like mark it as turf. Just do one of the turf squares and write it in as that. I think you can actually add a claim. There's an add button. Yeah. He oh yeah, it. there is. There's a row down at the bottom. No freaking way. Hold on. Cool. I gotta see this. Yep. Yeah. So just just call it um like. Oh, like that's armory, gonna be so good. Call it, call it yeah. armory. I mean, it's less of an issue for you guys being bravos, but one thing I've had to learn is um, creative ways to grant fame, especially for the smugglers who pretty much never go to battle with anyone. They fight people, but they never really go. We're gonna take this claim because that's not what they do. And so, you know, granting claims due to things like the sort access for whatever kind of is in the within the rule. And in my mind, the most effective way is. So, what what weapon specifically is this giving us? It's giving us ghost fighting spears and what and, and so, so, electroprosmic so, ammunition so, or just spears? No, no. Okay. Uh, ghost fighting spears. And the silver nails, which okay, the silver nails themselves damage ghosts. But I mean, you'd need to drive them in. And whoever of you who said was taking the mallet gets to keep that mallet, which is okay. considered a fine heavy weapon, has potency against pretty much everything. Uh, so is it one load or two? It's two. Two it's a heavy weapon. So is it two load as, as well? Fine. So I'll call no, it spears, are, spears are a one load item. Oh, really? Hmm. They're short spears. And so I'll just call it a fine spirit killing mallet? Yeah. Cool. But yeah, the, the spears are short spears, so they're probably about a meter in length. They're designed to be held, like, like they're like the um, phallic spears, which are designed to be held with a shield in the other hand. Yeah. So they're yeah. one-handed weapons. I mean, you could if you wanted to hold them with two hands, but they're designed for one hand. Cool. I'm, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm thinking javelins. Yes. Yeah, yeah so kind of, yeah. Javelin or halberd. They're not that. They're, they're a meter in length, not two. Awesome. Noted. Cool. Should we do XP? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you guys don't want to do downtime, sure. What do you think? Do we have the time for it, or...? I think I'd rather leave downtime for next time. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that that usually works better, so... Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I'm fairly wiped right now, anyway. 
Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Two left. Go down the line. I say. Okay, Chris. All right. Let me look a thing up. Uh, ch tracking or violence? Yeah, I did that. Yes. Yeah, you did that a whole bunch. Yeah. Uh, beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. You basically did the whole leader thing here. Yeah. It was your moment again. Again. Yeah. And I pushed for, like, helping the Silver Nails and stuff, which is part of, like, mm -hmm. the background obligation and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, struggle with issues from your vice or trauma. I don't know if it's trouble, but I definitely say... I feel like it is, because it's weakness. What you were saying to Emma, Emma Elise, is it? At yeah. At the end of that, thank you for helping. That felt soft, because a harder leader would have gone, you know, realized you're over your head. Instead, you gave her dignity and that she was helping instead of whatever. And that felt soft to me. Yeah. It I also... Like you were reaching to give her something when you could have used it to crush her. Yeah. I was also going for both of those when I just had everybody rush in to drag out people that were injured instead of, like, arming up and fighting smart, like... Yeah, yeah and, I'll, I'll and then you also, you, you called them out, too, when you were tailing the people involved in the Rowan conspiracy, right? Like, you specifically, like, stayed there and did more on that when it would have been easy to just cut and... And do another downtime action to or, easily build or, or that easy clock. to ambush them and kill them all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like you cool. said, you weren't gonna use the opportunity to ambush and kill them all because you were soft. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, hey, Matthew. All right. Uh, yeah, I got. I had like one desperate reaction for my for hunt right there. You, you so, need to mark them when they happen, though, mate. Yeah, I know, I know, I forgot, I just remembered. Okay. Uh, you address the challenge with violence to coercion? Yeah, pretty much trying to stamp the vampires and then just bullying, bullying the blue coats to produce heat. Yeah, yeah. and you and you coerced the um, the thespians. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that too, that too. Yeah. Um... Beliefs, drives, a heritage, or background? I, w I want to say background at least for, you know, I, had, I went over to Night Markets and picked up some stuff because that's, because Night Markets is pretty much that place to go. That's sort of where she was familiar with for a lot of her young life. I, I, and I feel like that, that, that you're pushing the beast and doing a separate block for gaining control. Which is mechanic, which is mechanically and metagamey the wrong thing to do because you know you get them slower. Also, as part of that, where she's kind of trying to take ownership, and so rather than working with the rest of the crew to get this cohort across, she's working against the crew. Yeah, yeah, I definitely agree with that. You are you can we're coming in a bit faint there, but I'll take it. Yeah, he was just saying that in yeah. like trying to the the fact that we decided to do two clocks to get the thespians to join oh, yeah. instead of cooperating on that. <laughs> that, that. So that was the meta gamey thing you were talking about. Yeah, I'm saying okay. meta gamey wise working together makes sense. Yeah, but you right. didn't yeah. do that. You working against each other at proper purposes, yeah. which is because of the character. So yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. that's a good point. That's a good point. And uh, traumas, vice. No, I was going to get stabby with the undead, but you know, six has happened. Well, I mean, even if you did, it wouldn't count as vicious because you were reluctant to go on there. You, I, I, I just didn't see vicious. I agree, yeah. But like, if you had gone in there really wanting to stab them and didn't get a chance, I would still give you vicious because. See, for me, that feels that feels like sort of like the reckless option. I, in my head, I mean, it can be both. There's there's overlap on those. Yeah, yeah, like, it's, it's, in my head, it's, it's, like is... the of, it's like saving people was both reckless and soft. Yeah, rushing in to kill these things oh. would have been reckless and vicious. 
Yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. Yeah. Reckless yeah. is a really good pairing trauma. Like you can pair it with a lot of other traumas for richer yeah. flavor of trauma. Yeah. And, and honestly, <laughs> it it felt like you had a few opportunities to play into vicious um this session and, yeah. and kind of intentionally didn't. Like you didn't go overboard and beat up the blue coats. Uh you didn't go overboard with and, like yeah. vicious to me Boy. feels like there's the the reasonable option and then you push past it in order to cause pain to somebody and even like yeah. even when you were like trying to stab the vampires and stuff like that you were very deliberately like no i'm gonna wait and like you know controlled fight them like yeah. you didn't just run out there stabbing the ground trying to get their attention or anything like that right it's skirmishing them yeah that would have, yeah, yeah. In my head, Amelie's version of Vicious is sort of what we saw when she just started stabbing that guy at the end of last last session three. Right. It's, you know, yeah, where well. it's yeah, yeah it's a, it's vicious. a sort of yeah, it's a sort of controlled thing until things start getting violent. At that point, it's like bars off, you're go you're gonna die. There's not gonna be much more so, kind of really kind of really serial killery. So yeah. vicious can be like Tony Soprano with that seeing fish, using it to beat someone's head in. You know. Yeah, that's, that's exactly that's exactly the vicious. And yeah. then savage, whatever. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So onwards to the crew sheet. Execute oh, no, a success. No. no, we gotta do Emily. Oh, no, I still get to do mine. <laughs> you oh. don't get any XP. <laughs> sorry, no. no XP this week. Sorry. You uh, you you did acting chops. You don't get XP. You have a. Uh, uh, what is it? Exposure. Um, so I think I got uh, deception uh, and influence um, from dealing with the Dimmer Sisters and from and being that. And that the, yeah, exactly. So two for yeah. that. Yeah. Um, belief drives, heritage, and background. Um, I think drives in um, how. I dealt with the uh, the scene with um, the Scions of the Fallen and and uh, Rowan's uh, third cousin um, yeah. in like being like, don't fucking condescend to my friend. I'm gonna show you up, and then also drives in pursuing um, the Rowan uh, the case and spending a lot of money to to get onto that. So I think yeah. two there. Um, and then I think I was pretty, I think I was pretty reckless, uh, the whole yeah. time. I think, it, well, you were like, this is the plan. Didn't wait for any confirmation. Didn't know if anyone was going to back you up there and just ran out there. Yeah. And, and like Amelie said, you're insane. And I was like, yep. <laughs> yeah, and, well. and, 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 and you didn't know this would work. Tried to deflect the thing from the Dimmer sisters. With your hand, which, as you've known from previous things, is probably the worst thing to do, given yeah, exactly. the dimensional unstability, you know? So yeah. both of those felt like very reckless behaviors of someone who's not quite well-balanced anymore. Yeah, I, I agree. So that's six for me. So I'm going to fill up my nice. playbook, and I'm going to get a dot in prowess. And I'm gonna get a dot and resolve. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Also, on the reckless note, I'm pretty sure every roll I make is desperate. <laughs> yeah. Other than the fortune rolls to fill in those clocks and like resolve, uh, indulge my vice. Sweet. Um. Oh man, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna take as a playbook advance. <laughs> Successful, uh, execute successful battle, extortion, sabotage, mental grab, operation. Yes. Uh, with, hmm? Yeah, so one for that, I think. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay. Challenges above our current station. Challenges. Uh, you did that twice. Once for the Demon Sisters, once for the Sand Vampires. All right. That's and, and an ad the, the Rowan thing, too, a little bit. Uh, yes. Yes, because it was a great cloak. So yes. All right, that gives us an advance. Yeah, signs of the fallen are your tier, so they don't count. Right. Mm -hmm. 
at Bolsillo Pro's reputational developer in Neville One. Um, I think um, this would get you, at least with the Silver Nails, a reputation of steadfast. Well, I was going to say, it, like, this feels like professional to me, right? Like, our allies asked for help, and we helped them. Like, okay. we acted we acted professional. Yeah. Uh, back, yeah, perhaps gain the reputation of loyal. Although maybe that could take yeah. a second, second go around, because yeah. we weren't that loyal the first time they called for help. And yeah. I don't... Because you guys just dropped everything and came to them. Yeah. Um, I think that bolstered your reputation, at least with them. If not with their allies, uh, and the gondoliers actually, because you talk to the gondoliers about it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah, I think mm. you both did your reputation with both them and the gondoliers over it, where you were seen as people who you, there was no question of money, no question of what you had to gain. Your close allies needed you, and you came. Uh, cool. Are we taking two for that then? Well, I, yeah. I would argue for it, but you guys decide. You yeah, know. I think two makes no, sense. No. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Because I was even going to say, like, we like we didn't kill any witches, but we casually dispatched witches. <laughs> like, yeah. So, like, I think I think we hit up, like, the things we are known for. Also, uh, our, our reputations right now are professional witch, professional witch killers. We could yeah. easily shuffle some commas around there. <laughs> yeah, professional witch killers. Professional witches and killers. I mean, yeah. some of us may be... Yeah. Some of us yeah, may be on the track for that, right? Like... Of that and all the rest and stuff that happened, you are now here to have gone to Because I was thinking... Plus two faction. That, yeah, you're now two faction with them. Because, yeah, they're, they're close allies with the Silver Nails and this. They're not in the box, but... But I predict things for the scenario playing out. Um, and the, the, they were very much invested in the Lost District coming back online. They had a lot of good things. They depended on it. So, you know. And we didn't destroy their boat. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> we fucking saved that boat. We got that boat back. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I'm sure the, 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 the cheap wooden boat was what did it. <laughs> um, goals, right. drives, inner conflict, you, essential you nation. At least one, if not two, because I, uh, again, the, the competing plots that's uh -huh. inner conflict right there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, um, the talk, they're talking at the end, inner com uh, drives, and, and yeah, nature. yeah, you did a ton of this. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. Sweet. Mm. Um, so we get our extra. Get two or. We have we stash each. Okay. For the advance. Oh, whoops! I went into the uh, wrong. You get, plate. you get three stash. No, no, leave that there. I like that. Three stash. You you get three stash. You get one plus two yeah. for tier. So three. Yeah. Sorry, that's what I said. That's what I said. I keep oh, okay. accidentally going into your playbook. Uh. Matt again because our names are so similar. I have to switch that name. It's it's just non negotiable, I think, at this point. So let me let me ask you guys on on all of your sheets, are you seeing the little black dot beside your items now? For descriptions? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah. I think it's kinda cool. Right. I don't have that on mine. And I even what? tried to I even tried to just make a new sheet and it wouldn't give them to me. <laughs> I have no idea what's up. It's weird. Um, uh, is that something you have no, to there, go to the gear, Chris? Go to the oh, it's an option up there. there. Version point eight, and yeah. there's a tick box that says item descriptions. Yep. Right there. Oh, nice. I wonder why that's not a default thing. Okay. That is weird. Yeah. Probably because it's more like a flavor thing, and that's something that's actually on the regular. Hon sheet. Honestly, mm -hmm. it might just be like it could be a bug specific to the Hound playbook. Like, so did you already yeah. have one advance, or has this one advance that you wrote down there? That's just for this one, yeah. That's just the one we got while doing XP right now. Uh, do we want to talk about that right now, what we were going to pick? Well, since the crew is growing, maybe quarters <laughs> is... Yeah, um... Either, either, we go, either we go with the obvious thing and take all these sixes and grab a synchronize at long last. That's kind of which I, that's kind of what I'm leaning, but we are also like 
behind on the upgrades game. You know? So, like, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. I you like also, that. Um, you're also at war, so you may want secure. I'm just saying. That's a good point. We could go quarters and secure and just, like, hold out. Yeah. yeah. Our, our... <laughs> that way we don't get ambushed outside as much. That's probably... I, I really like that option. I like that option a lot. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yep. yep. All right. There we go. Done. Easy. All right. I'll just roll my own crits. <laughs> I don't need synchronized this game. <laughs> About what happened here, isn't it? Yeah, just this game. I don't know, it'll happen again. Without... All right, that was super fun. Yes. Good to be cool. back. Yeah. Yep. I look to get, I put a seeing you all in another two weeks. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that, guys. No, not, don't uh, need to apologize, right. man. Don't need to apologize. I'm joking. Yeah, I know, but it's just, yeah. Anyway, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Really great. We got a lot of fun stuff going on. Yeah. People right, so being so ripped good. from yeah. time, space, and their souls, and, you know. Like... Yeah, I've mean, got two weeks to figure out what that's going to actually do. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I better go and watch Stranger Things because that might give me ideas. Maybe. Yeah, or or again, at least like read a little bit about Fringe, specifically anything after the first season. Um, Is that on Netflix? Got, it it used to be on Netflix. I don't know if it's still. Yeah. Right. Well, I'll have a look. If it's on also, Netflix, I have Canadian Netflix, and... so. It's oh, Canadian. Netflix. Different in the states. Netflix. Okay. Yeah, Canadian Netflix is fucked up. It's not Scottish Netflix. <laughs> but I, did that. I don't know. Like Canadian, I was doing Scottish for. <laughs> um, also, I will uh, reiterate my offer. I would be down to run uh, a one shot for you guys um, uh, next week if you still want to play something. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, we I'm just need to, to figure out what we want to play. Yeah. Make sure it's something we can all either play without localized rule books or something everybody has yeah yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put some suggestions in the discord yeah okay you could, you cool. could um i don't know if you got um band of blades but you could do a one shot of when the chimera were i wish we had band of blades. i yeah, don't think no, i don't i don't think they've made band public yet have they oh like, okay i they thought hadn't. they did but then they, they, they were playing it there i i almost went and signed up for it Nah, that was just their first like yeah, public playtest. The first public playtest. Yeah. At, at Go play. It looks it looks really cool though. Yeah. Um, we totally do a one shot whenever it does though. Yeah. Yeah. Totally yeah. All right. Anyway, yeah. Later. yeah, we'll yeah. talk about it in Discord and figure out what we want to play. For sure. See ya.